Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. I'm in one piece, almost exposed that I am better than Roger. Chapter 61. The situation is changing rapidly, completely beyond Luchi's cognition. He didn't even dream of it. Can't breathe in a few. Suo Luo killed three of the top combat powers in the CP9 organization. Jabra, Kaku, Kumidori, either one is a ruthless character who can be alone. As a result, in front of Suo Luo, he was so embarrassed. The bones in Jabra's body were almost shattered, and the internal organs were vomited out through the mouth. Kaku who was good at swordsmanship was severely injured by Suo Luo. Kumidori was directly burned out of his hair. You know, with the ability to return to life, his hair is an incredible killer. No, it's not just them. Lu Chi was in a heavy mood, and his pupils were directly enlarged. Just when I met Suo Luo. In his heart, there was an unprecedented idea. Danger. The man in front of him is extremely dangerous. If you don't run away quickly, it is very likely to be seriously injured by this guy. Moreover, this idea was very strong in Lu Chi's mind. If you don't see it with your own eyes, it's a real experience. Lu Chi couldn't believe it at all. At naval headquarters, such a strong man is hidden unexpectedly. It's incredible. I know who you are. However, at this moment, Suo Luo spoke slowly, and put Ryujin Jaka back into the scabbard neatly with his hands. It seemed that he had given up the use of swordsmanship. If I didn't guess wrong, you should be Rob Luchi, right? You know me. Luchi held his breath, his eyes focused on Suo Luo, and he dared not move away for a second. For fear that he would suddenly shoot at himself. Well, you seem to have confidence in your physical skills. Suo Luo nodded slightly. If he wants to, killing the people here is not a problem. But if the world government finds out that all CP9 members who were supposed to be responsible for recreating Pluton disappeared mysteriously in the city of Seven Waters, I'm afraid it will cause quite a stir. It is even possible to launch a carpet investigation. And I thought that I would be the enemy of the entire naval headquarters and even the world government. Suo Luo found it troublesome. After thinking about it, he came up with an idea. In that case, then I will give you a chance. Luki. As long as you can catch my fist. Robin will leave it to you, and I will leave the city of Seven Waters. Suo Luo made a loud noise. Although Suo Luo's voice is not loud, the content of this remark is too strong. In an instant, it shocked everyone present. Robin blinked even more, seriously wondering if he had heard something wrong. As long as Lu Chi takes Suo Luo's punch, he lost himself to CP9. What a joke. Even if Suo Luo's strength is very good, he defeated the strong CP9 organization one after another. But, Lu Chi's strength is far above those people. When he was 13 years old, he joined CP9. And with its powerful strength and cold-blooded wrist, it has become the strongest cold, killing weapon. Known as the strongest combat power of the CP9 organization in 800 years. The strength will only be stronger than Shichibukai. To say that Lu Chi couldn't catch Suo Luo's punch. Robin doesn't believe it. Could it be that, Suo Luo is not physically strong? Suddenly, Robin thought of a possibility. Suo Luo did defeat the three members of CP9 in a row. But these people are the strong inside the organization. Maybe in order to deal with them, Suo Luo's body has reached its limit. Now he does not have enough power to fight against Lu Chi. That's why this method was chosen. Come let yourself have a step down. Otherwise, continue the death fight. Suo Luo is likely to die here. Really, I was still abandoned. For a while, Robin was a little disappointed in his heart. Maybe from the beginning, I shouldn't have any hope for Suo Luo. Nor should there be hope for anyone. No matter how nice their words are. When it comes to making a decision, they will only care about their own interests and situations. Own, there are no companions at all. And Lu Chi on the side was also startled. Unexpectedly, Suo Luo would offer such a condition. Judging from the current situation, he should be a marine swordsman who is good at swordsmanship. Suddenly say something to compare physical skills. He also claimed to defeat himself with one blow. I really don't know if this guy is too confident or too arrogant. How, seeing that Lu Chi did not respond, Suo Luo had to continue to speak, are you scared? Indeed, if I punch you, you are likely to die. 
It's normal to be afraid. Suo Luo muttered to himself using a voice that everyone can hear. Khalifa and others were shocked again. This guy, who is so sacred, dare to speak to Lu Qi like this. Even if his strength is really good, but he wants to defeat Lu Qi with one punch. It is simply a fantasy. Bluno whispered in a flat tone, no matter how you say it, Lu Qi is the strongest battle in the 800 years of CP9, force. He is the only man who has cultivated the six forms to ultimate. In the field of physical skills, no one can match Lu Qi. Bluno said confidently. In his opinion, Suo Luo undoubtedly made the worst decision this time. Ha ha ha. Soon, Lu Qi raised his forehead and couldn't help laughing. It seems that Suo Luo told him a very funny joke. Am I scared? Do not make jokes. Don't say one punch, it is ten punches, I will take it too. Lu Qi said without thinking. For him, this condition is really good. Because of myself, it's not just a man who has cultivated the six forms to ultimate. At the same time, he is also a capable person who has eaten the fruit of zone. The biggest advantage of zone fruit is that it can intuitively increase physical strength. It's you, I hope you don't break your promise, Marine. While speaking, Luchi immediately activated the fruit ability and transformed into an orc form. Soon, Luchi's body began to expand at a speed visible to the naked eye, and his body became burly. In the image of a tall leopard man, appeared in front of Suo Luo. A strong aura spreads in all directions. Let the CP9 organization members present take a breath. It's been a long time since I saw it, Luchi's form. This marine, lost, Khalifa and others talked a lot, believing that Suo Luo is too confident this time. He doesn't even know how strong Luchi's body is. Robin on the side was even dumbfounded on the spot. I didn't expect Luchi to have such a hand. However, even when he saw Suo Luo, who was in the form of Lucky Leopard, his expression did not change at all. It was as if all of this was in his expectation. Although I only know a little bit about physical skills, but, you really might die if I punch you. Suo Luo couldn't help but shook his head, as if wishing Lu Qi to think about it again. Well, if that's the case, then I can only shoot. Seeing Lu Qi refused, Suo Luo had no choice but to improve his physical power. Eight inner gates, the first door, open the door, open. Eight inner gates, this move comes from a move in a work called, Hokage Ninja. It is a forbidden technique that gains powerful power by lifting the body's restrictions on chakra. This is the reward that Suo Luo received when he came to Pirate World for the third year. It is worth mentioning that, the so-called chakra is actually the spiritual energy and physical energy of the human body. Based on this relationship, everyone will have an eight gate in their body, as long as they exercise enough to withstand the load of opening the eight gate. Then you can use this power. And now Suo Luo, the physical strength is naturally enough to bear. Eight inner gates, the first door, open the door, open. Suo Luo stood in place and guided chakra inside his body, breaking through the first limit. Lu Qi is the strongest combat power of CP9 in 800 years, and his strength far exceeds that of Kaku and others. I want to kill him with a punch. There must be enough explosive power. Suo Luo thought to himself. In addition, although the power of eight inner gates is strong, after using it, it will leave my body in a weak state. So, in addition to killing Lu Qi with a single punch, we must also deter the remaining CP9 members so that they dare not pursue it. Suo Luo's brain is running fast. Under his guidance, Chakra in his body quickly broke through the third door. Shengmin, open. This gate is the last safe zone of the eight inner gates. If you continue to go deeper, it will have a terrifying load on your body. Even, just being a student, Suo Luo's body has undergone significant changes. I saw his skin turned red from congestion, and his body was emitting green energy visible to the naked eye. Such an amazing scene shocked everyone present. This guy, what kind of monster is it? Lu Qi blinked vigorously and couldn't help wondering if he had any hallucinations. Otherwise, how to explain Suo Luo's physical changes? And, this is physical skills, grunt. Lu Qi swallowed nervously. At this moment, he even felt that Suo Luo is very likely to be a fruitful person. Although Suo Luo does not have obvious changes in zone ability, there is also no elemental representation of Logia. 
But Paramisha's ability is not only weird, but also ever-changing. The most important point is in Lu Qi's cognition. There is no such physical skill in this world. The fourth door, hurt the door, open. Suo Luo ignored the reactions of Lu Qi and others and continued to go deeper. After that, the fifth door, Duman, open. Six paths gate, King gate, open. Suo Luo frantically increased his explosive power. The aura released by the whole person is even more different from just now. Lu Qi was stunned. What the hell is this guy? Why is his aura so strong? Click. In an instant, the ground under Suo Luo's feet began to crack. Shocking cracks spread out from under his feet, like a spider web inlaid on the ground. However, this is still not Suo Luo's limit. The seventh door, start the door, open. With Suo Luo's burst of shout, the green energy on his body changed rapidly, from green to blue, covering his whole body. The eighth door, the dead door. However, just when Suo Luo planned to open all the restrictions in one go, he couldn't help but frown. Although everyone can open the eight inner gates, their physical strength is different. The same is to open the dead door, and gain power is also completely different. For example, in Hokage Ninja, Might Guy's father, eight inner gates is fully opened, and only eliminated three of the seven ninja swords. And Might Guy's eight inner gates, but almost kicked the finale. But even Might Guy cannot bear the power of eight inner gates formation. My current body, even if I turn on the eight inner gates formation, it will not turn to ashes. From this point of view, my physical strength should far exceed my guy. If you open the dead door, thinking of this, Suo Luo couldn't help but glanced at Lu Qi sympathetically. At that time, let alone whether Lu Qi can leave the corpse, I am afraid that if you are a little careless, the entire city of Seven Waters will be evaporated. Considering that there are still many civilians in the city of Seven Waters, Suo Luo had to dispel the idea of opening the dead door. However, his casual glance created an unprecedented psychological shadow on Lu Qi. I saw that Lu Qi's eyes were bigger than Bull's eyes. The look in the Marine's eyes just now. It can't be wrong. Lu Qi clenched his fists with both hands. He was too familiar with that look. That was the look he occasionally showed when he killed the humble trash fish. Contempt. It's like looking at the ants. Now, the eyes that I have always used to look at ants are actually used by Suo Luo to look at himself. This is not the same as saying. In Suo Luo's cognition, he. Is it just an ant? What a joke. You guy. For a while, Lu Qi was furious. Not only must he accept Suo Luo's attack, but also let him know. This is the strongest user of physical skills in 800 years. A person who has practiced the six forms to the limit. It's me. Next second, Lu Qi's eyes became very determined, his hands quickly closed, and strength continuously emerged from his body, condensed into the palms of his hands. Six styles, six king's spear. Before Suo Luo made a move, Lu Qi took the lead to launch an attack. The whole CP9, no. Even the entire world government cannot find a second strong man who can exercise the six forms to this level. Boom. An extremely terrifying power burst out from Lu Qi's palm. The surrounding space seemed to ripple. Lu Qi stared at Suo Luo with both eyes. Result, Suo Luo didn't panic at all. He stood firmly in front of Lu Qi and didn't move a step. It's just hands, making strange gestures. Day Tiger. Along with Suo Luo's loud shout, a tiger roar burst out from behind him. Immediately afterwards, a white air stream condensed towards Suo Luo's body, transforming into a fierce tiger at a speed visible to the naked eye. Very fierce. Next second, call out. Suo Luo gently pushed with both hands to release the day tiger. The concentration of strength and constant compression have made the day tiger smaller and smaller. But the power is even more amazing. Soon, Suo Luo's day tiger collided with Lu Qi's six king spears. Such a scene even made everyone hold their breath, not even daring to blink their eyes especially members of the CP9 organization. All were nervous to the extreme. In any case, in their cognition, Luchi has always been an undefeated myth. Suddenly, the violent sun tiger seemed to have found a breakthrough, and with a bang, Luchi's six king spears slammed into pieces. The gap between the two forces. It's too big. This, it's impossible. Luchi was dumbfounded on the spot, 
feeling his brain was blank. Lu Qi never dreamed of it. The six styles that I have always been proud of, the six king's spear, will be completely defeated by Suo Luo's moves. In an instant, the power he released was torn to pieces. This is impossible. Lu Qi's face was shocked, and his pupils dilated instantly. However, after Suo Luo's day tiger smashed the impact of the six king spears, it did not disintegrate in the air and dissipated. Today's Suo Luo is physically stronger than my guy. The day tiger he released directly stirred the air at this moment, bursting out an incomparably terrifying air current. Where the day tiger passed, the ground was directly sunken. The flying rock rolled. The building walls on both sides fell apart on the spot. The load-bearing capacity collapsed at this moment. Rumble. With loud noises, tall buildings began to collapse. The CP9 members present were all shocked by the scenes in front of them. Suspect life on the spot. Is that a lie? Khalifa's eyes straightened instantly. She couldn't understand, and it was even harder to accept the scene before her. You know, the Six Kings Spear is a move that Luchi understood, and the gathering power bursts out in the form of shock waves. This trick can be said to be the highest state of the six forms. Result, the six strongest gestures they knew were defeated by Suo Luo's moves in an instant. This kind of thing has simply subverted their perception of the six forms. However, the most frightening thing is that Suo Luo's Day Tiger not only broke the Six King Spears. It is a kind of crushing posture. Smashed the impact of the Six King's Spear. I saw the tiger open a big mouth, roar out the tiger roar, continue to gallop forward, until it completely swallowed Lu Qi's body. Under everyone's attention, boom, a loud noise exploded on the spot. Lu Qi's chest was sunken to the degree visible to the naked eye. Even in the state of iron body, he couldn't resist this shock. Boom, boom, under the muffled sound, Lu Qi's ribs broke one by one. Pouch. Immediately afterwards, a mouthful of blood spurted from Lu Qi's mouth, swaying the sky. Rao is Lu Qi's willpower, and can't resist this terrible force. His feet gradually left the ground and he was forced to fly high. In an instant, Suo Luo's day tiger flew out a hundred meters away. In a perfect parabola, he fell heavily to the ground, and then rolled several times in a row before he stopped. The strong shock spread out from Lu Qi's body. Internal organs, bones, muscles. All were severely damaged. Visceral shaking. Broken bones. Muscle torn. In an instant, Lu Qi was not only seriously injured, but his body was smashed into the building, creating a ruin that covered him. Smoke rises. The whole scene became silent. The atmosphere has become extremely weird. Rob Lu Qi, known as the strongest combat force in the CP9 organization in 800 years, is like this. Falling into the ruins, he did not stand up for a long time. All eyes were focused on him. Stunned, even Suo Luo couldn't help but blinked. His original idea was to use the power of this punch to let Lu Qi retreat. Stop pestering yourself. In any case, Lu Qi is the strongest combat power in CP9. If you just die here, maybe it will trigger an investigation by the world government. Result. CP9 has the strongest combat power in 800 years. Is it only to this degree? He won't die. Suo Luo couldn't help but complain. Time passed by every minute and every second. The ruins covering Lu Qi showed no signs of loosening for a long time. This also means that Lu Qi has no plans to stand up at all. In other words, he can't stand up now. Died. This is the idea in Suo Luo's brain. But again, is Lu Qi's strength so weak? Suo Luo couldn't help but complain. Lu Qi didn't foolishly use Iron Body to take over his day tiger. Instead, he chose to use the Six King's Spear to fight. Result, the Six King's Spear, known as Six Styles, failed to play any role in the face of the day tiger released by Suo Luo. Even the shock wave failed to pass the day tiger and blow the corners of his clothes. There is no doubt that the strength gap between the two sides is simply the difference between clouds and mud. I see, Suo Luo suddenly realized. In any case, the CP organization is the spy department under the world government. Their main task is to gather intelligence, not to destroy the enemy. The CP9 members of the past generations also focused on the work of intelligence collection for training. That's why Lucky's title of the strongest combat power is just a tall one among the dwarves. 
Suo Luo guessed in his heart. This is the only way to explain the current situation. It's not that Lu Qi is too heaven defying. But the CP organization has been a group of rice buckets for 800 years. It must be so. Thinking of this, Suo Luo reluctantly felt relieved. However, what he didn't know was the effect of his punch stunned everyone present. The members of the CP9 organization showed shock, panic, fear and many other negative emotions on their faces. Lu Qi's strength, is it, so weak? Robin stood still, taking a breath, staring at the ruins. Thought Lu Qi could get up and fight again. Result. Two minutes and three times have passed. Lu Qi has no response. CP9 has the strongest combat power in 800 years. That's it. Isn't it too weak? However, as soon as this idea emerged, Robin shook his head and denied it. Do not. How could Lu Qi be weak? When he appeared just now, the aura that he released made himself very scared. If he really wants to kill himself, I'm afraid it will happen in an instant. So, it's not that Rob Lu Qi is too weak. On the contrary, it's Suo Luo, who is too strong. Yes, it's Suo Luo, the monster, too strong. Such a picture will appear. Think about it carefully. Suo Luo solved crocodile in Alabasta, isn't it just by relying on his own strength? He was a monster from the beginning. Robin took a deep breath, trying to ease his emotions. However, the shock in her heart could not calm down for a long time. Suo Luo, it is a well-deserved monster. His current strength, maybe only Aokiji's level of power can be suppressed. In Robin's view, Suo Luo's strength is likely to reach the level of Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral. I am so silly, I actually thought he wanted to abandon me because he was afraid of Lu Qi's strength. Ha ha, Robin couldn't help laughing at himself. From the beginning, I underestimated Suo Luo's strength. He didn't choose to abandon himself because he was afraid of Lu Qi. It's completely that he didn't put Lu Qi in his eyes at all. We'll put forward the requirement of one punch. Rob Lucci. CP9 has the strongest combat power in 800 years. Cultivate the six types to ultimate, and develop the monster of the six king's spear. By an unknown marine. Give me seconds. This scene caused an unprecedented impact on the members of the CP9 organization. The whole alley was suddenly silent. The atmosphere revealed an indescribable strangeness. Every CP9 member's face became extremely pale, without the slightest blood. Cheat, deceive. Khalifa rolled his throat and swallowed nervously. Her eyes widened, and her mouth opened into a big, O, oh, shape. No matter how hard she blinked, the picture in front of her remained unchanged. Lu Qi was seckled. You know, this is Lu Qi. Whether it is strength or mind, it can be called a perfect existence. Even at the moment Lu Qi chose to shoot, everyone thought in their hearts that Suo Luo, Marine, would fly out. As a result, the opposite was true. Suo Luo maintained a high profile from beginning to end. The scariest thing is, Suo Luo only used one trick. With Lu Qi's strength, not only is CP9 the strongest combat power in 800 years, it is also one of the best in the entire sea. Blue No on the side was also dumbfounded. The strong impact squeezed every cell in his body. In his cognition, Lu Qi is the most powerful existence. Never thought that Lu Qi would lose to a Marine. Marine, at this moment, Bluno can't help feeling that his cognition has been completely subverted. He has always felt that CP9 is the most distinctive one in the CP organization. Possess an extremely powerful force. It can even be compared with Marine. The result is now, he only fully understood. Why Marine 3 Admiral, New World 4 Emperors, 7 Warlords of the Sea, will be called the three major forces on the Grand Line. Maybe. It is not that everyone does not know the existence of the CP9 organization. But, the strongest in this sea has never been their CP9. The battle between Suo Luo and Lu Qi is the best proof. With one punch, I defeated Lu Qi. Odanashi Fukuro took a breath. Lu Qi's Six King Spear is the strongest profound meaning of six types. It can release a violent shock wave in an instant, disintegrating and breaking everything along the way. Even the marine warship cannot withstand the power of the Six King Spear. Never thought, it's such a powerful shock wave, but it can't shake the power of a marine. 
Odanashi Fukuru's strength is not as good as Lucky, and it is not as good as Kaku and Jabra. But he saw clearly the details of the battle just now. It was the Six King's Spear that Lu Chi launched first. Then Suo Luo released the Day Tiger. The moment the two forces collided strongly, the shock wave swept by the Six King Spears was torn and shattered. Completely powerless to fight. Obviously, the strength of the two sides is not on the same level at all. The scariest thing is, Suo Luo's age. From the appearance, he is about the same as Lu Chi, even younger than Lu Chi. This suffices to show that Suo Luo not only possesses great strength, but also possesses unparalleled talent. Even if his current strength has not reached the level of Marine Admiral. It's just a matter of time. Too frightening. This Marine, it's not like a human being. In addition, Kaku, Jabra, and Kumidori were spiked. Let the remaining CP9 members have no idea what to do. Are you still here to keep Suo Luo from leaving? Can their strength? How to stop it? Even Lu Chi lost. Why are they? It is no exaggeration to say that the combined combat power of the three of them is not as good as Lu Chi and Kaku. Lu Chi and Kaku were both easily killed by Suo Luo. How did the three of them turn things around? Odanashi Fukuro felt stressed when he thought of this. Khalifa paled and looked particularly embarrassed. How to fight? There was a strong timidity in her heart, and she did not dare to step forward. Just look at the picture in front of you. It is not what the word tragic can describe. From her joining CP9 to now, she has never witnessed such a tragic battle. Almost all out. Being crushed by a marine, it was completely destroyed. Yes, the famous CP9 organization now, was completely destroyed. What should we do now? For a moment, Khalifa, the six gods without an owner, could only cast a look at his companions for help. What to do? Yin Wu Mao's head could not help but a black line on his face. How could I know what to do? Lu Qi's normal strength is as high as 4000, and he can't hold the opponent's punch. I'm a guy with only 800 powers, is it possible that I can beat the opponent? Do not make jokes. Maybe we shouldn't provoke this monster from the beginning. Odanashi Fukuro couldn't help but complain. Although he is also a member of the CP9 organization, it is difficult to keep any secrets. Basically, I just say what I think of. Khalifa smiled bitterly when he heard the words. When Kaku stated how terrible Suo Luo was, she still disagreed. It now appears that all the facts Kaku said at the time were true. I can only, harden it. At the critical moment, Bluno still had a low voice. Even if I know in my heart, the three of them together are not Suo Luo's opponents. But as an agent of the CP9 organization, how could he give up his shot here because of fear? Defeated by the enemy, make the enemy escape. Fear of the enemy, and let the enemy go. Even if the results are the same, they are very different in nature. At this moment, Bluno directly activated his abilities and opened the door at the feet of Suo Luo. Odanashi Fukuro met Khalifa, and could only bite the bullet and do what Bluno said. Cooperating with each other, they attacked Suo Luo from different angles. These guys, Suo Luo felt helpless. Although the raid launched by Bluno and others was very fast, Suo Luo felt it. And, in Suo Luo's eyes, their speed is basically the same as the slideshow. Live well, okay, Suo Luo couldn't help asking back. The backhand was a punch, and the wind of the fist rubbed the air, instantly generating high temperature, forming a fireball, and heading straight to Bluno. Iron body. At the critical moment, Bluno gritted his teeth and gave up his life to urge the power of his body to harden his body. To create opportunities for Khalifa and Odanashi Fukuro. In any case, don't let Suo Luo take Robin away. She is the most important piece in this plan. In an instant, Bluno's defensive power quickly increased to the extreme, as hard as steel. However, what he didn't even dream of was that the fireball thrown by Suo Luo's punch was not a trick at all. I saw, Suo Luo raised his other arm and waved it lightly, creating another fireball. Toward the peacock, Suo Luo fists quickly with both hands, rubbing against the air with super high attack speed, forming bright fireballs. At first glance, it looks as gorgeous as a peacock tail. Towards Bluno, Odanashi Fukuro, Khalifa galloped out. Bang, bang, bang. Accompanied by the loud noises, the three of them could not retreat and were inevitable. Blood spewed crazily from Bluno's mouth, 
spilled into the sky, and then quickly fell towards the ground. The pungent bloody smell became more and more intense, as the breeze floated, spreading out in all directions. And Blue No's body has burns of various sizes. Rao is the iron body of six types, and it cannot resist Suo Luo's peacock. Otanashi Fukuru's face was as pale as a blank sheet of paper. Although his power is not high in the CP9 organization, only 800, but he has the ability that no one else has. Six style game, hands together. This move can withstand the opponent's blow to judge the enemy's strength. The Dao value of CP9 organization members is measured by this ability. Based on this, Otome Fukuro was able to withstand Lu Qi's attack completely and made a judgment. Makes his defensive power much stronger than the average CP9 member. However, facing Suo Luo's long-range bombardment, a huge and terrifying hole suddenly appeared in his chest. Blood gushed out from it, and then his brain consciousness gradually became heavy. A general marine soldier has only 10 power points. More than 500 can be considered a superman. And Lu Qi, the strongest CP9 combat power, is only 4000 under normal conditions. But the power value of this marine, even if conservatively estimated, is more than 8000. Monster, Odanashi Fukuru's brain runs fast. Judged Suo Luo's Taoism for a while. But more terrifying is. Suo Luo's move toward the peacock is far less powerful than the day tiger. In other words, if he makes an unreserved shot, his Tao power will probably only be higher. It was a monster through and through. What? Soon, Odanashi Fukuru's physical endurance reached its limit. Heart-piercing pain is all over the body. He couldn't help but let out a miserable cry. He can even feel that his vitality is fading at an extremely fast speed. In a blink of an eye, Odanashi Fukuru's body drew a parabola in the air and fell heavily to the ground. Then there was Bluno, with large and small scars left on his body. The burning sensation tortured every inch of his skin, like jumping into magma. If he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, he wouldn't want to believe it. Someone can ignite the air just by throwing a fist. Create a lot of fireball attacks. The scariest thing is that compared with Suo Luo's physical skills. He even felt that the sixth form was nothing more than that. Yes. In front of Suo Luo's powerful physical skills. Six formulas are nothing more than that. Rumble. A part of the fireball passed Bluno and hit the building behind him, erupting with a deafening noise. The wall of the building collapsed accordingly. Turned into pieces of rubble. Only Khalifa was left, using the six style shave to escape Suo Luo's attack range at a critical moment. But his legs were frightened, and he fell to his knees with a plop. Even with all her courage, she was born with the most primitive emotions when facing Suo Luo's offensive. Fear, if I don't avoid the attack just now, I will definitely be killed by the other party. Khalifa rolled his throat and swallowed again. Her power value is only 603, and she can't even compare with Fukuro. Even Odanashi Fukuro and Blue No's iron body are useless in front of Suo Luo. If you face the fierce attack directly, there is only one end die, this can even be said to be the closest to death in her lifetime. Suo Luo's offensive came quickly and ended not slowly. About half a minute, he stopped. Not only did Odanashi Fukuro and Bluno fall in a pool of blood, but the buildings here also turned into rubble. A mess. Except for Khalifa slumped to the ground, all the other core members were defeated by Suo Luo. And, still a spike, Robin stood on the spot, seriously doubting whether he had any hallucinations. You know, these people are the top combat power of the CP9 organization. The combined strength is definitely stronger than Crocodile. As a result, in front of Suo Luo, there is no power to parry. Kuzan. At this moment, the figure of Kuzan could not help appearing in Robin's mind. She couldn't help but doubt in her heart. Suo Luo's strength is infinitely close to Kuzan. In other words, is it comparable to Kuzan? Too frightening. This man. Grunt. Robin swallowed, and at this moment, she suddenly had a strong feeling. Suo Luo, this guy, is far more difficult than he thought. Suo Luo just glanced at Khalifa, who was sitting on the ground. Although she is also a member of the CP9 organization, she is far behind Lu Qi, Kaku and others. As a woman, she has experienced life and death trials. 
naturally not as good as these men like Lu Qi. More often, her mission is to use her beauty to lurk to the enemy's side. Investigate information that is difficult for ordinary people to access. The real assassination mission. It is rarely handed to her. Based on this relationship, I'm afraid that the current Khalifa doesn't even have the strength to stand up. As for those agents who didn't even learn the six forms, it can't be regarded as a full member of the CP9 organization at all. As early as when Suo Luo was fighting other people, these agents were affected by various aftermaths and passed out one by one. At this time, there are basically not many people, maintaining a sober consciousness. Including Khalifa. No one can pursue oneself. Robin, let's go. Immediately, Suo Luo grabbed Robin's wrist, and before she had time to react, he disappeared in place with her. Khalifa was left alone, messy in the wind. Have to say. When Suo Luo disappeared in front of her, she did not feel any pity, regret. On the contrary, she suddenly felt relieved. That powerful, majestic sense of oppression disappeared from her shoulders. The rapid breathing also smoothed a lot. However, her gaze seemed a bit sluggish. Look around. Lu Chi, Kaku, Jabra, Kumidori, Bluno, Otana Fukuro. These powerful companions all fell in a pool of blood and ruins. Even if they are alive or dead, Khalifa has no way of knowing. In her impression, that powerful, invincible, and unshakable CP9 organization. Today today, was completely destroyed by a marine. This kind of thing is simply a fantasy, impacting her brain and soul. But, one wave has not settled and one wave has risen again. Just when Khalifa didn't know what to do, two figures approached here. That person is, Hawkeye Mahawk. Khalifa noticed a figure approaching the alley, and quickly turned his head and looked over. At a glance, she was completely stunned. The man greeted as no one else. It is the big thief recognized by the world government. Hawkeye Mahawk, one of seven warlords of the sea. A man known as the world's largest swordsman. It's just that Khalifa can't understand why Hawkeye appears here. The scariest thing is, at this time, the eagle eye is completely in a state of combat, and the whole person continues to emit a strong aura. Swept in all directions, nothing left. An indescribable sense of oppression was overwhelming. It became the last straw that completely overwhelmed Khalifa. Eagle. Dot I. I saw Khalifa muttering these words constantly, his eyes gradually turned white, and he was completely fainted by the powerful aura of Hawkeye. So far, in the entire alley, there is no sober CP9 organization member. However, in fact, the sudden appearance of the Eagle Eye has nothing to do with the CP9 organization. Although he is the world's largest swordsman, seven warlords of the sea, he is essentially a warrior who pursues supreme swordsmanship. Especially in the desert of Alabasta, after witnessing the sword cut released by Suo Luo. Hawkeye's heart is more determined. In any case, he has to fight Suo Luo. Have a good fight. So, he and Buggy the Clown pursued Suo Luo all the way. Suo Luo was originally confused and lost, but suddenly felt a powerful sword intent in the city of Seven Waters. Although I didn't witness it with my own eyes, but according to Hawkeye's memory. The master who can possess this sword intent is Suo Luo. After realizing this, he rushed here immediately. But unfortunately, Hawkeye was still a step slower. When he walked into this alley, he did not see Suo Luo. Instead, I saw dozens of agents wearing suits, lying here in all directions. Hey, what is going on here? Buggy on the side could not help but roll his throat, swallowing nervously. The more he pursued Suo Luo, the more scared he became. When he first met Suo Luo, he slashed through the sea. Let his subordinates die tragically. When he was about to catch up with Suo Luo for the second time, he was almost reduced to ashes by his slash. This time, I saw a group of people falling in a pool of blood, among the ruins. I don't know whether it is dead or alive. Moreover, judging from the costumes of these people, the identities of these guys seem to be unusual. It's a member of the CP9 organization. Hawkeye's eyes narrowed slightly, and they quickly recognized the identities of these people. CP9. Buggy was startled. I have indeed heard of this organization before. Wait a moment. Suddenly, Buggy seemed to have spotted a little blind spot, his eyes widened, and he kept blinking. CP9 organization. If it is not a rumor, but a real existence. 
That should be the espionage department directly under the world government. And the Suo Luo they were chasing. Isn't it Marine? Marine clashed with the intelligence department of the world government. Combine and destroy each other. This kind of thing is too weird, right? Or do they actually figure it out? The person who killed the CP9 organization was not Suo Luo. It can't be wrong. Hawkeye's eyes condensed slightly, carefully inspecting the traces of the scene. It is not difficult to see that a very fierce battle took place here. And there are several places, obviously caused by Jian Chi. This man, soon, Hawkeye noticed Kumidori, Odanashi Fukuro and others. They have very obvious burns. It is quite similar to the fiery slash that he had encountered in the desert. The key is, although every sword hero can release sword intent. However, due to differences in personality, habits, beliefs, and pursuits, sword intent is completely different. Especially for a great swordsman of his level. If it is, even the opponent's sword intent can't be distinguished. It really lived on to a dog. Kumidori, Jabra. And, lucky, suddenly, Hawkeye noticed Lu Chi, who was lying in a ruin, seriously injured. For the strong, Hawkeye has always remembered clearly. And the rest of them, although they can't name them, but judging from the situation in front of them. Not particularly weak. All out. For a while, Rao was always a calm eagle eye, and felt surprised in his heart. He has no head-on rival with CP9. But I have also heard the rumor that Lu Chi is hailed as the strongest fighting force of the CP organization in 800 years. Result, a CP organization has the strongest combat power in 800 years, leading all CP9 members to dispatch. Was completely destroyed by a marine. Sure enough, the strength of that marine is definitely stronger than I imagined. Hawkeye's eyes exuded a fanatic light. He couldn't wait to flash in front of Suo Luo right now and force him to shoot. What a long-lost excitement. Hawkeye was deeply moved, and he even felt his hands tremble a bit. Since fighting against Shanks, he never felt that way anymore. In addition, Hawkeye also developed a deep curiosity about Suo Luo. Judging from the current intelligence, Suo Luo is Marine. How could a Marine conflict with CP9? And judging from the clues on the scene, this conflict is not an accident. It was CP9 that all the members were dispatched and they found Suo Luo. Combine this with the fact that they are the best espionage department. I see. Hawkeye suddenly realized. He felt that a strong swordsman like Suo Luo could not be willing to be an ordinary marine. His hiding, disguise, it must be for the greater good. The CP9 organization has been tracking Suo Luo behind the scenes. Finally found something. Suo Luo was encircled and suppressed. Result, they completely underestimated Suo Luo's strength. Brutally annihilated. Yes, it must be so. Only in this way can we explain the current situation clearly. Hawkeye muttered to himself, and believed in it. Otherwise, how to explain all this? A marine who is not inferior to his own swordsmanship. A man with great ambition and conspiracy. Thinking of this, Hawkeye couldn't help but raise the corner of his mouth. He can't remember how long he hasn't been so interested in others. Marine, let me tear off your mask with my own hands. Hawkeye clenched his fist with one hand, ready to chase Suo Luo. However, just when Hawkeye intends to leave here, no extra time is wasted. The surrounding air began to drop in temperature at an exaggerated rate. White ice crystals appeared on the surrounding walls. Okay, it's so cold. The clown buggy couldn't help holding his hands tightly, and shivered. It's obviously a scorching summer now. Why does the temperature suddenly drop so exaggerated? Um, Hawkeye frowned slightly and became cautious. The temperature is falling. Hawkeye observed the changes around him, and his right hand gripped the black knife for a few minutes. Although there is no sunshine all year round in this alley, the temperature is a bit cooler, but it is at least 10 degrees Celsius. But now, the temperature drops sharply. 10 degrees. 5 degrees. 0 degrees. Until 10 degrees below zero. Moreover, this transformation does not change slowly. But suddenly, the transformation was completed. The accumulation of water has frozen. Soon, from the corner of Hawkeye's eyes, he noticed the stagnant water on the side. I don't know when it started, it froze into ice and spread to the surroundings. Affect the surrounding environment corner, street, or slowly covering this icing. 
Immediately afterwards, a violent cold wind hit from behind the eagle eye. Let him stand on a snowy field. I didn't expect to meet you here. Hawkeye Mahawk. In an instant, a man's voice rang at the end of the alley. It is different from the environment he created. His tone seemed a little lazy. It seemed that he didn't want to participate in this incident, but he had to take action. The clown buggy looked subconsciously. A tall, thin figure suddenly appeared in a place that should have been empty. Just like that, stood there without warning. Call. He breathed softly, but the white air was exuding from the corners of his mouth. It is not difficult to see that the guy who turned the temperature here into more than 10 degrees below zero is this man. The scariest thing is, 10 degrees below zero is not the limit of this man. The biting chill is still radiating from this man. Let the temperature here continue to drop. Ching 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 ching, Aokiji. The clown buggy's eyes widened, and he stepped back and hid behind Hawkeye. Rao met Smoker in Alabasta, and it was enough to scare him. As a result, I didn't expect to be in this kind of place. Meet the man who is known as the highest combat power in naval headquarters. One of Marine's three admiral. Aokiji, Kuzan, Marine Admiral, Aokiji. Hawkeye's gaze narrowed, looking up and down the visitors, I should say this, I didn't expect to meet you in such a place. However, even facing the highest combat power of naval headquarters, Hawkeye is still calm and unhurried. Aokiji didn't worry about it. He believes in lazy justice. Even if he encounters a real pirate, he may not be able to kill it. Not to mention pirates like Hawkeye recognized by the world government. Only, Aokiji looked around. As the headquarters admiral, he has naturally heard about the situation of the CP9 organization. With just a glance, he recognized the agent who had fallen to the ground. CP9's strongest combat power in 800 years. Jabra, Kaku, Bluno. Kumidori, Otana Fukuro, and Khalifa. Except that Spandam is not there, this time CP9 can almost be said to have been dispatched. Aokiji couldn't help muttering to himself. Although Spandam is the chief of the CP9 organization, his true strength is surprisingly weak. With him or without him, the level of CP9's combat power will not be affected. Soon, Aokiji noticed some shocking sword wounds on some CP9 members. Although there is still a certain gap between Luchi and Admiral, looking at this sea, he is definitely one of the best. Especially the six forms, but he has practiced to the limit. Therefore, six styles was developed. In Aokiji's view, Luchi's full strength is no weaker than some vice admiral in this department. Plus the other members of CP9. Really, Aokiji's gaze fell on Hawkeye again. Except for the strong like Hawkeye. He couldn't think of anyone else who could easily destroy the entire CP9 organization and then left. Combine the clues from the scene. Who else can it be if it's not Hawkeye? It can't be a Marine with hidden strength, here to destroy the entire CP9 organization with one's own power, and then run away, right? How could such a person exist? It is absolutely impossible. For a moment, Aokiji and Hawkeye looked at each other. Say nothing. The atmosphere on the scene became even more weird. It seems that a big battle will break out at any time. But in any case, Aokiji is not a roundworm in Hawkeye's belly. Rao is the top observation hockey, and it is impossible to detect Hawkeye's thoughts. In addition, Hawkeye has always possessed the arrogance of a warrior. Explain the ins and outs to Aokiji. Do not make jokes. Fight if you want to fight. It's just Marine Admiral. As the world's number one swordsman, myself. How can you be afraid? Thinking of this, Hawkeye was ready for the battle in his heart. It just so happened. Before I played against that marine, I would use Aokiji to test my current ability. Hawkeye murmured in his heart. A majestic fighting spirit burst out from him, colliding with Aokiji's cold air forcefully. Abruptly, the ice that is approaching oneself will melt. It's so strong. Aokiji frowned slightly. No wonder Hawkeye will be called the world's largest swordsman. Brother, can you let them go here? However, just as the two sides were at war, Aokiji suddenly changed his head. Although I don't want to intervene in your affairs, these people are also members of the CP9 organization and work for the world government. Just forget it if you don't touch it. But it happened to me. If you continue to attack them, then I can't just sit idly by. 
At the end of the sentence, the cold air condensed behind Aokiji and turned into three sharp spears aimed at the eagle eye. After hearing this, Hawkeye realized it. There was a misunderstanding between him and Aokiji. However, Hawkeye, who has always been arrogant, naturally didn't bother to explain anything to Aokiji. Next second, Hawkeye directly put away his aura and put the black sword behind him. Although Aokiji is also a rare powerhouse, it is obvious that Suo Luo wants to attract him more. See Aokiji has no idea that a fight must be made. He didn't bother to waste his energy and continue to waste it here. Hawkeye turned around on the spot and left without looking back. Watching Hawkeye and Buggy disappear after crossing the wall, Aokiji was able to put away his chills. The temperature in the alley began to rise. I didn't expect the strength of Hawkeye to be so strong. Aokiji once again looked at all the CP9s on the ground. After sensing the outbreak of the battle, he rushed to this side. Only a few minutes before and after. The battle ended with the group destruction organized by CP9. In other words, this is not something Hawkeye can do if it is stronger than Luchi and others. Want to end the battle in such a short time. Must have absolute crushing strength. This also means that Hawkeye is strong enough to kill Luchi and others in a second. The strongest combat power of the CP9 organization in 800 years. Successfully killed by Hawkeye. It's ironic enough. Aokiji rolled his throat and couldn't help but compare his strength with Hawkeye. If it's me, can I kill Luchi in seconds? Bolu Bolu. Just as Aokiji was about to contact naval headquarters to deal with the scene, the phone worm he carried with him suddenly rang. Aokiji glanced at Luchi and others, and decided to answer the call first. Soon, Aokiji took the phone worm in his hand, and as the conversation was connected, the image of the phone worm changed significantly. No one else, it is Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral. A man hailed as a marine hero. Tekken, Garp. Yo, Kuzan, I have arrived in the city of Seven Waters. Garp told Aokiji refreshingly. Aokiji heard the words and then reacted. When I heard about Garp's whereabouts before, I took the initiative to contact him. Want to board the opponent's warship and return to Marineford. Although Aokiji's fruit ability can instantly freeze the sea and ride a bicycle on it, if you want to return to Marineford. There is only one way through the path of justice. Except for the warships of the headquarters, the gate of justice will not open at all. This is one of them. Second, to say who Aokiji admired for Marine is undoubtedly Iron Fist Garp. Now that there is an opportunity to walk with Garp, Aokiji naturally does not want to miss it. Based on these two points, Aokiji asked Garp to contact him after reaching the capital of Seven Waters. Give yourself a ride and head to Marineford. As for the reason why Garp will be here, it's because of Luffy. Although there are seven routes to choose from when coming out of the Twin Straits, the closer you are to the second half of the Grand Line, the islands to choose from become more and more. In addition, Going Mary drove all the way and suffered large and small injuries. Rao is the Straw Hat Pirate Group, and also chose to come here to repair the ship. As Luffy's grandfather, Garp naturally wants to meet his grandson here before returning to Marineford. However, after watching Luki for a while, Aokiji reported the information, Mr. Garp, I have some problems here. Something went wrong, you left the city of Seven Waters. It's not, oh. Aokiji sighed and told about his experience. For unknown reasons, the CP9 organization directly under the world government was dispatched. Hawkeye Mahawk was encircled and suppressed in the city of Seven Waters. Result, the entire CP9 organization was completely destroyed. What, it was Garp, who was also taken aback by this situation. What did you say, Hawkeye, that kid Mahawk, with his own power, destroyed the entire CP9? On the deck of a warship, Garp's eyes were bigger than Bull's eyes, as if he could jump out of his eye sockets at any time. The chin was about to fall to the ground in surprise. Although he doesn't have much contact with the espionage department, he has heard a lot about CP9. Especially the man Rob Lucci. Joined CP9 at the age of 13. With a clever mind, a decisive mentality. Become the most ruthless killer agent and in the cultivation of the six styles, he also has a talent that ordinary people can't match. At a young age, Master has not said all six styles. He created such a powerful physical skill as the Six King's Spear. 
Even if you look at the entire sea, Luchi is one of the best. Coupled with the cooperation of people like Kaku and Jabra. If this team were to become pirates, at least it would be a Shichibukai level pirate group. Result, this combination of top-notch configuration was destroyed by Hawkeye Mahawk. Wait a minute, what do you mean by breaking down? Gark took a deep breath and spoke again to confirm. Since he didn't see the scene with his own eyes, Garp was even a little skeptical. Could it be that Aokiji's wording is more exaggerated? It's actually different from what he imagined. Do not. Aokiji shook his head, it means literally, the whole scene is extremely tragic, and Luchi was seriously injured. To be honest, with his injuries, whether he can survive or not is a question. The key is, how to deal with this matter in the future. Do you want to disqualify Hawkeye Mahawk Seven Warlords of the Sea? Will the Hawkeye be caught? To know, the world government just held a Shichibukai meeting. Where are you now, I'll pass right away. With a low voice, Garp asked Aokiji about the location and decided to leave. No matter how you say. Although Garp is always a fool, but he can sit firmly in his current position. But it's not relying on the money of the young age. His vision and pattern are actually much larger. It is Sengoku called the resourceful general. In some important matters, we must listen to Garp's views. Now CP9 is fighting against Hawkeye, but is also beaten by the opponent. There will definitely be a big problem. Soon. Garp hung up the phone worm. It seems that the meeting with Luffy needs to be postponed. Garp murmured to himself, then turned and ordered his close associate, Colonel Pocato, to go with him with dozens of marines. By the way, Kirby, Balumug, you guys go with me too. At the end of the sentence, Garp started to act directly. Kirby and Balum were left standing in place, looking stunned. What are you doing in a daze? At critical moments, Pokato reminded him in time. Kirby and Balumub quickly followed. Ka, Mr. Garp, what's the matter with that CP9 and Hawkeye? Along the way, Kirby couldn't help asking. In the impression, he has only heard of CP1 to CP8 organizations. For CP9, this is the first time I have heard of it. Garp glanced at Kirby. It stands to reason that a guy like Kirby is not qualified to understand the CP9 organization. However, for Garp, confidential, what is that? The CP9 organization is a secret espionage department established by the world government, originally used to deal with some obscure things. In this world, only a few people have heard of them. And most of them are already dead. As for that guy named Lu Chi, he is a rare genius. When he was only a teenager, he learned all six poses. It is known as the strongest combat power of the CP organization for 800 years. Garp paused for a moment, and, on the basis of the six styles, he relied on his extraordinary talent to create his own move called the Six King's Spear. For a time, Kirby and Balloon were stunned again. 10. Did you learn all six poses when you were a teenager? Kirby just feels his brain is blank. During this period of time, he and Balloon were learning the six forms under the guidance of Garp. Now, the master barely shaves, and marvels at the power of the six shaves. As a result, the man named Lu Chi. Did you learn all six poses when you were a teenager? What kind of monster is this guy? Wait, wait a minute. But soon, Kirby reacted violently. This man he regarded as a monster. Almost beaten to death. Just kidding. Soon, Garp and his party arrived in a dark alley. As the first witness, Aokiji has been waiting here for a long time. Pokato, Kirby, Balloon, and others stood there with just one glance. Cheat, deceive, Kirby rolled his throat and swallowed a big mouthful of water to calm his shock. The entire alley was reduced to ruins. Most of the members of the CP9 organization lie in a pool of blood. Randomly, among dozens of people, none of them remained sober. Even, judging from the state of the scene alone, Kirby could not confirm whether these people were alive or dead. The scariest thing is, Kirby and Balloon learned about it on their way here. The core agent of CP9, Luchi, Kaku, Jabra, Kumidori, Odanashi Fukuro, Khalifa and others are all strong in the Grandmaster Six forms. Especially Luchi, in addition to Grandmaster Six styles. He still has the power of Devil Fruit. The strength he has is not inferior to the Vice Admiral of Naval Headquarters. Do not, it's not just Luchi. Kaku, 
Jabra, these two monsters, can also touch the threshold of Vice Admiral. As a result, it is such a team. Was completely destroyed. G. Kirby. Biru Maber's body couldn't help shaking. He felt terrible just thinking about it. All of this was done by Hawkeye Mahawk. Rao is the garp who has always been arrogant, and he shows the seriousness and seriousness that he has been missing for a long time. He looked at the picture in front of him and asked Aokiji next to him. If it was really done by Hawkeye, it would be an incredible event. According to his master's intelligence, the scandal exposed by the Alabasta incident, the world government attaches great importance to crocodiles' crimes, and a Shichibukai meeting was held. Mahawk, the eagle eye, has never paid attention to the orders of the world government. Now see the scene before me. Garp couldn't help linking these two things together. Hawkeye Mahawk refused the call of the world government. This triggered the world government to dispatch CP9 organizations to deter Hawkeyes. Otherwise, how to explain? The conflict between Hawkeye and the CP9 organization. You know, the guys who fell on the scene are all senior CP9 agents. Obviously came prepared. Well, I'm pretty sure. Aokiji nodded decisively when he heard the words. He also talked about his encounter with Hawkeye. At that time, Hawkeye was holding a black knife in his hand, exuding a powerful fighting spirit. And all CP9 members are distributed around Hawkeye. Not only that, there are obvious slashing marks around here. Aokiji specially reminded. These sword marks are half a meter deep at the shallowest point. It is enough to prove that the slash is powerful. Maybe, there are countless strong people who can have such strength in New World. But in the first half of the Grand Line, a man with this level of swordsmanship. In addition to Hawkeye, Aokiji couldn't think of a second person. In other words, the various evidences on the scene all point to the eagle eye. Balumob could not help but speak, Hawkeye Mahawk, is it so terrible? That's natural. That guy is not only the seven warlords of the sea recognized by the world government, but he also carries the title of the world's number one swordsman. Any swordsman will regard him as a lifelong goal. Pokato explained emotionally. In fact, he is also a swordsman who uses swordsmanship. And indeed in awe of Hawkeye. It's not just that simple. However, Aokiji, who heard the conversation between Birumaber and Pokato, had a sullen expression on his face. When they started fighting, I was aware of it and rushed here as fast as possible. Although these words sound a little weird, but, Hawkeye, it only took a few minutes to destroy the entire CP9, including Lu Chi, the strongest combat power. As soon as this remark came out, it caused an uproar. Even Garp is not calm at all. It's not that the CP9 organization was destroyed. Instead, within a few minutes, the CP9 organization was destroyed. There is a huge difference between the two. All the CP9 players were solved in a few minutes. Such a record as the Vice Admiral of the Department, and there are not many. No, it can't be done at all. While talking, Garp even turned his head and glanced at Aokiji. But at this moment, Garp suddenly remembered something he had encountered before. At that time he was responsible for escorting Monka back to Marineford. As a result, shortly after passing through Logue Town, he encountered an extremely exaggerated slash at sea. That slash was more than a hundred meters high. The sea is easily divided into two, and the bottom is clearly visible. Even for himself, it took quite a lot of effort to reluctantly change the route of that slash. Make the warship escape. At that time, I sighed, a strong eagle eye swordsman. It's not an exaggeration to say. Had it not been known that Roger had died, Garp would even wonder if Roger slammed that slash to greet himself. It's ridiculously strong. After throwing out this information, Aokiji was also dumbfounded. Hawkeye turned out to be such a terrifying strength. Aokiji blinked, seriously wondering if he had heard something wrong. Even his most respected Mr. Garp are all marveling at Eagle Eye's swordsmanship. At the time, I was naive to think that if I shot with all my strength, I could suppress that guy Hawkeye. It seems that I still underestimated the strength of Hawkeye. Aokiji couldn't help sighing in his heart. It's just that Garp couldn't help but murmur in his heart, but what the hell Hawkeye wants to do? Although a certain possibility was speculated before, it always felt that it was not very tenable. And also, why did Hawkeye greet himself at sea for no reason? What ambition and conspiracy are there in this man's heart? 
It looks like you can only find out when the members of these CP9 organizations wake up. But then again, the actions of the CP9 organization have always been a secret among secrets. Will they disclose it to Marine? Report. Suddenly, the Marines who were in charge of checking the injuries of Luchi and others returned to Garp to report. Except for Lucky, Jabra, Kumadori, Kaku, Bluno, Odinari Fukuro, Khalifa and others. All other CP9 organizations were killed. And even people like Luchi were seriously injured. Whether they can survive is also a question. Anyway, take them back for treatment first. Upon seeing this, Garp had to give an order. At the same time, Suo Luo took Robin to dock number one quickly. Set sail, set sail. Until then, Robin was still in a state of panic. Back on the deck, Robin breathed fresh air, but he could still feel the smell of blood by his side. And, she didn't even expect to die. Suo Luo, this seemingly ordinary marine. It turns out, with one's own efforts, the entire CP9 organization was destroyed. Why does this man keep hiding and disguise his true strength? He, what is the huge ambition? In order to avoid long nights and dreams, as soon as all the CP9 organization members were eliminated, Suo Luo took Robin out to sea. Leaving the city of Seven Waters. After arriving at Marineford this time, I would find a faction to mix in with whatever I said. Then through operations, I was transferred back to East Blue. Suo Luo stood on the bow deck, opened a bottle of rum against the sea breeze, drank it, and complained about what happened along the way in his heart. Since leaving Logue Town, I often get into various troubles. But, after venting his emotions a little bit, Suo Luo faced a new question. After leaving the city of Seven Waters, there are only two routes left to reach Marineford. One is to take the sea train to Eni's lobby, and from there through the Gate of Justice, to Marineford. Although the current Suo Luo is only the ensign of the headquarters, it is due to the official document of naval headquarters. Passing through the Gates of Justice is not difficult. Only, Suo Luo just broke down the entire CP9 organization and carried Nico Robin. If you just run to Eni's lobby brightly like this, I'm afraid it will shock the entire world government. After some thinking, Suo Luo decided to take the second route. Starting from the city of Seven Waters, cross the Magic Triangle, and then arrive at Sabayati Archipelago. Then start from Sabayati Archipelago, go through the Gate of Justice, and report to Marineford. However, it can be seen from the name of the Magic Triangle. This place is not very peaceful. Leah, one of the seven warlords of the sea, was entrenched there. Specially catch passing ships, according to reliable information. Every year, at least hundreds of ships disappear in the Magic Triangle. It is based on this relationship. The pirates who can often reach the Sabayati Archipelago have enough hard power. If possible, Suo Luo really doesn't want to have anything to do with Molia. But now, he took the risk except for it. There is no other choice. Hope, all this can be a little more peaceful. As for Robin, he can only take one step. It's just that Suo Luo doesn't know. After the incident in the capital of Seven Waters, Robin's attitude towards him has undergone a huge change. When encountering the CP9 organization, Robin more than once thought that Suo Luo would abandon himself here. Even, she was a little skeptical. Suo Luo invited himself aboard at Alabasta. Is it just to lead myself to the city of Seven Waters? After all, a Marine invites the pirate to join the Marine team. No matter what you think, it's very outrageous. But who knows, just when he was about to give up his last hope and let CP9 handle it. Suo Luo is not only an enemy of CP9. He even used a powerful force to directly destroy the CP9 organization. Although Crocodile is also one of the best in this sea, it is still slightly worse than the killer agents of Lu Chi. Robin couldn't help thinking to himself. The most important thing is that this is all CP9 mobilization. Even if Lu Chi and Crocodile are not the same, the strength of their entire organization is bound to be stronger than Crocodile. Result, in front of Suo Luo, these agents were vulnerable. I have to say that what Suo Luo did moved Robin very much. Since she fled at the age of eight, no one has ever treated herself like Suo Luo. But this incident also caused her a lot of questions. Suo Luo, I think it's time for us to talk. Robin took a deep breath, 
and finally mustered up his courage, came to the bow position, and threw a topic to Suo Luo. Our next route is to cross the Magic Triangle, to Sabayati Archipelago, and then to Marineford. If you don't want to go to Naval Headquarters, you can also wait for me at Sabayati Archipelago. Suo Luo turned around and said without thinking. I'm not talking about this. When Robin heard the words, he shook his head helplessly, but then again, after something like that happened, are you still planning to go to Naval Headquarters? That's the entire CP9 organization. I don't know if Suo Luo is too nervous or what. Does he know what he did? Those Luchi are secret agents directly under the world government. Does he really think that the world government will not pursue it? Oh, you said this, there are problems, but not all. Suo Luo answered without thinking. Regarding the outcome of this incident, Suo Luo had his own consideration in mind. The reason why Lu Qi and others appeared in the City of Seven Waters was to complete the tasks assigned by the world government. But now, Robin was taken away by himself. Lu Qi and others were seriously injured. Undercover tasks are no longer possible. Although they are secret agents directly under the world government, they are not an important role in the eyes of the world government. From the end of the Ennis lobby incident, the world governments wanted for Lu Qi and others can be seen. And this time, it was definitely more gaff than the Ennis lobby incident. Whether it is to cover up the truth, still take into account the face of the world government. Those guys won't let Lucky go. And when he played against Lu Qi, although he was not full, he also used 20% to 30% of his strength. Given his severe injuries, at least he would have to lie down in bed for a while before he could regain his combat power. By that time, maybe the world government has solved them. Secondly, your own hidden strength system is not unusable at all, as long as you don't reveal your true whole cards. If, never mind, Suo Luo finally shook his head, but after analyzing world government's follow-up processing plan, he did not go on. If, this world really makes me unable to make salted fish. Then simply kill, CP organization, naval headquarters, and world government and celestial dragons. Then leave none of them, kill them all, and no one will come to trouble me anymore. Of course, these remarks are just Suo Luo's thoughts. Did not tell Robin. In short, you can rest assured that since I was able to invite you to join Marine, I will naturally have a way to ensure your safety. Suo Luo's conversation turned, no matter the CP organization or naval headquarters, I want to take you away, no one can keep it. Of course, if you have a better place for yourself, I won't stop you. After he finished speaking, the corners of Suo Luo's mouth gradually rose, and a smile appeared. Then, he turned and walked towards the main rudder. Prepare to hurry up the magic triangle. Only Robin was left alone, standing on the spot, facing the endless sea. Just feel that the brain is blank. She didn't even think about it. I could hear such reassuring words from Suo Luo's mouth. As long as I'm by your side, whether it's the CP organization or Marine, can you ensure my safety? Grunt. Robin rolled his throat and swallowed nervously. For some reason, she didn't think Suo Luo was talking big. Chapter 71. Being with Suo Luo gives Robin an unprecedented sense of security. She stood on the deck and turned to look in the direction Suo Luo was leaving. But in addition to this sense of security, Robin is also more curious about Suo Luo. The head crocodile, defeated the strongest combat power of CP9 in 800 years. The scariest thing is, in these processes, Suo Luo maintained a very high posture, understatement. It can even be said to be a spike. It is no exaggeration to say that Suo Luo's current strength far exceeds naval headquarters vice admiral. Maybe, Suo Luo's strength is no longer inferior to Kuzan. Robin's eyes narrowed slightly, she really couldn't understand. A man with such a powerful strength is willing to be the warrant officer in the marine team. What a terrible man. However, Robin did not struggle with this matter in the end. For her, the time spent with Suo Luo was much easier than any other period. It also feels more secure. That's enough. As for other things, such as Suo Luo's ambition and conspiracy, she didn't care so much anymore. However, if Suo Luo really returns to East Blue, no matter how you say it, it has always been Robin's dream to find all the historical text and understand the real history. Even if she sacrificed her life for this, she didn't complain. 
If Suo Luo is really as he said, there is no ambition. And through faction operation, let himself go to East Blue. At what time do you want to leave Suo Luo? Certainly. All this can only be said at that time. I don't know why. There is a very strong feeling in Robin's heart. Suo Luo, it is very likely that he will not return to East Blue. What he said is easy to be contented, and content like salted fish may not be true. After all, in Albana, the capital of Arbatis, he used conqueror's hockey to prevent a civil war in this country. And that kind of hockey can neither be inherited, nor can it be cultivated. Whether you can have it depends on your own destiny and courage. Suo Luo knows nothing about Robin's guess. Now he began to calculate his future plans in his mind, and control the direction of the ship, slowly sailing towards the magic triangle. Hopefully, this time, don't have anything to do with Yugong Molia's car. But then again, the closer you get to the sacred place of Mariajoy, the fewer islands you can land on. It is precisely because of this that Supernovi will gather in Sabayati Archipelago. And Luffy even clashed with Yugong Molia. No. Meet the Straw Hat Pirates again. Suo Luo's eyes lit up suddenly. If you can catch the Straw Hat Pirates. And give it to Garp. Maybe you can join the Garp faction. Then through operation, stay away from New World. The key is, Crocodile was killed by himself. CP9 was destroyed by himself. None of the events that led to Luffy's soaring bounty happened. His current bounty. Still, 30 million berry. Looking at the Grand Line, it is not a notorious existence at all. It's better to measure it again. But Suo Luo is not in a hurry to make up his mind. On the one hand, it is not easy to say whether Luffy will appear in the Magic Triangle. On the other hand, there is still some time before arriving there. Own, you can think about it again. Forget it, discuss it with Robin. Two days later, a hospital in the capital of Seven Waters. It's surrounded by Marine tightly. Ordinary people are not allowed to approach. Luchi and others, who were seriously injured, are now recuperating here. But it's worth mentioning, although Khalifa didn't suffer any harm during the whole journey, it was Luchi who woke up first. And through Marine's actions, he learned about the current situation. If you just let yourself recuperate and slowly recover from your injury. There is no need to mobilize people like this. The entire hospital was sealed off. Coupled with Lu Qi's intuition and experience as a super agent, he quickly contacted the others after they woke up one after another. And passed Blue Nose door to door fruit ability. Secret talks were held. The mission failed. Lu Qi sat cross legged on the ground, his tone low and disappointed. He didn't even dream of saying this sentence. Not only that, now he is immersed in the shadow that Suo Luo brings to him. I have always been proud of my physical skills. It turns out, will be completely destroyed by Suo Luo. He didn't even figure out the opponent's body. This incident is simply a great irony. When other people heard this, their hearts were also very heavy. In addition to the blame of the world government, the mission this time is also their painstaking efforts for several years. As a result, years of hard work and forbearance are all in vain. It's not just that, you should have noticed, the attitude of those marines towards us and the distance deliberately kept. If I'm not wrong, they don't see us as members of the CP9 organization anymore. Bluno spoke slowly, stated the matter. Since waking up, he has used the power of the door fruit to make observations. Although this is a bit unbelievable, the world government seems to intend to get rid of them. The style of the world government. Kaku couldn't help sighing. In those days, he had dealt with secret agents who had failed missions. This is not only for the reputation of the world government, but also to ensure that secrets are not leaked out. It can even be said that CP9 can be hidden underwater all the time, which has an inevitable relationship with this processing method. Only, now that the roles have changed, he has become an agent who has been abandoned and dealt with. Kaku felt uncomfortable in his heart. Lu Qi, what do you think we should do? Tell the world government about Robin's whereabouts. Khalifa interjected suddenly wondering if he could use the clues in his hand to get his life back. It's not as simple as you think, Khalifa. Lu Qi glanced at Khalifa and said his thoughts, let's not talk about the connection between Marine and the world government. And the purpose of taking Robin away. We are now unable to complete the task. 
Not only did we lose Robin, a survivor of Ohara who can interpret ancient words, but our defeat was also horrified and made Bingberg aware of it. At this point, Lu Chi paused for a while. His eyes narrowed slightly, and suddenly he thought of a crazy idea. Unless, we can take Robin back from that marine. As soon as this remark came out, the audience was in an uproar. Just thinking about the power of Suo Luo, they felt a little fright. This may be our only chance. In fact, Lu Chi, who said this sentence, couldn't help shaking his hands, if we don't want to be erased by the world government, we can only take back Robin. Think about it carefully. Rather than exposing strength in the headquarters and attracting high-level attention, it is more appropriate to arrest Straw Hat crew. Suo Luo started his analysis while resting in the captain's room. Although the current Luffy bounty is not up to the supernova level, it still has the status of Garp's grandson. If you take it back to Sengoku, it is bound to attract attention. For joining factions, it can be regarded as a stepping stone. Otherwise, the ghost knows what will happen in the future. Get involved in trouble. The key is, war on top. Suo Luo took a deep breath and recalled the timeline of the plot of, One Piece. In order to rescue Robin, Luffy is making trouble at Eni's lobby. Ace also met Blackbeard on Ba Na Island. The two sides fought, and finally ended with Blackbeard's victory. For his ambition, Blackbeard handed Ace to Marine to exchange Shichibukai's position. And it caused the most famous incident in, One Piece. War on top. One more detail. Moonlight Molia, as one of Shichibukai, is almost the famous villain in, One Piece. However, the process of Luffy defeating Molia was completely dark. In other words, the plot of the Magic Triangle was over in just one night. Suo Luo kept inferring in his heart. And finally confirmed. The war on top is coming. At that time, not only Marine 3 Admiral, seven warlords of the sea, but also Marine Ford will be assembled. All the Marines in the naval headquarters. I am afraid we will all participate in this war. For Suo Luo, this trouble is more troublesome than the Alabasta incident or the Seven Waters incident. Especially that guy Hawkeye. He is one of the few men who have seen his swordsmanship and is still alive. In case the war meets on the top. Suo Luo felt embarrassed just thinking about the scene. No, thinking of this, Suo Luo got up from his seat with a plop. I must stay away from Marineford before the war on the top comes. Whether it's East Blue, West Blue, South Blue, North Blue, whatever it is. However, just as Suo Luo established his next goal, there was a knock on the door suddenly. Boom boom boom. Suo Luo turned to look at the doorway, come in. Click. Robin got permission even more simply, pushing the door and entering, found a wooden barrel on the sea. Actually, with Robin's character, he doesn't care about such things. The reason why she would report to Suo Luo was also explained by Suo Luo before. If you find something on the sea, you must inform yourself in time. Where, Suo Luo asked subconsciously, but stepped away before speaking. Come to the deck with Robin, and then salvage the barrel. If I remember correctly, this wooden barrel is a very crucial prop in the magic triangle. It was after the Straw Hat crew salvaged this thing that the sky became clouded and they entered Molia's territory. Furthermore, the eleven supernovas assembled at Sabayati Archipelago, but Luffy alone entered Molia's territory. Suo Luo thought to himself. He has seen a map of the world in one piece. Red line divides the Grand Line into the first half and the second half. On both sides is the Calm Belt, which cannot be navigated by ordinary ships. On the right side near Sabayati Archipelago is Eni's Lobby, Impel Down, and Marineford presents a triangle. In other words, no matter which sea area the eleven supernovas are born in. The route to Sabayati Archipelago is the same. Based on this premise, Suo Luo was sure that the barrel found at this time was likely to be a key prop to enter Molia's site. And, among the supernovas, except for Luffy, other people, from the point of view of character, may not be interested in wooden barrels. But how would you know that there is something on the sea? Robin looked at the barrel and couldn't help asking Suo Luo. According to the appearance of the barrel, she can be sure that this thing is called, Luzun. It is dedicated to the gods in order to pray for smooth sailing. But with Suo Luo's salted fish mentality, Robin felt that this kind of thing would hardly attract Suo Luo. 
Is it possible? What signal is in this barrel? Behind Suo Luo, is there a mysterious organization? Similar to Baroque Jobs, or CP9 or something. There are often ships missing in the magic triangle, have you heard of it? Suo Luo did not answer the question. It is precisely because of this that there will be the name of the magic triangle here. Robin nodded, affirmed. But in fact, someone has fled back after missing in the magic triangle. According to the information he revealed, the weather only changed after encountering this thing. However, because the content was too weird, this incident was concealed by Marine. After a while, that person died even more bizarrely. Based on this matter, I will let you pay attention to it. I didn't expect, I actually encountered this thing. Suo Luo made up a story casually. In any case, as Robin, it is impossible to go to naval headquarters and read the files. Of course, I also listened to the retired grandfather of this department. As for the authenticity of the matter, I am not sure. Suo Luo added another sentence. Now that it has been decided to capture the Straw Hat Pirates, it is undoubtedly the safest to start in the Magic Triangle. If it is because of avoiding the Flow Bottle and miss the Magic Triangle, that would be bad. So Suo Luo directly opened the barrel. Bang! As Suo Luo expected, the moment the barrel was opened, there was a loud noise like thunder. Immediately afterwards, a red light rose from the sky and exploded in the sky. It looked like an oversized flare, illuminating the entire sky. And it lasted about half a minute before the red light gradually weakened. Robin, who witnessed this scene, changed his face even more shockingly. His eyes were bigger than Bull's eyes. An ominous hunch came to her heart spontaneously. Suo Luo, this is likely to be a trap. In a hurry, Robin said without thinking. But soon, she calmed down a lot. Yes, Suo Luo is by his side now. Even if it is a trap, what can be done? On this sea, there is a strong man who can defeat Suo Luo. I'm afraid it's not at least Kuzan's level of combat power to do it. I didn't expect the rumors to be true. Instead, it was Suo Luo, still performing, deliberately showing a surprised expression. But in fact, all of this is within his plan. Just after the red light disappeared, the cloudless sky began to gather large patches of thunderclouds. The rapid change is like turning a book. Soon, thunder and lightning, wind and rain have been mixed. Let the weather in this sea area become very weird. How can the weather? Robin looked up at the sky, seriously wondering if he had any hallucinations. The previous second was still a cloudless sunny day. In a blink of an eye it turned into a clouded thunderstorm. The wind was violent. Combined with this incident after Suo Luo opened the flow bottle, the whole incident revealed a strange atmosphere. To make matters worse, their sailboat is now in this stormy area. Boom! A shock of thunder fell from the sky and hit the sea next to the sailboat. The waves are layer after layer, like a huge palm, sweeping towards the sailboat. Really, Suo Luo observed the changes in the weather, the storm that appeared after the straw hat crew opened the flow bottle does not seem to be a coincidence. And through observation, Suo Luo also noticed. Although the storm was raging, there was a root, and it was not hit by thunder and waves. Although it was not clear whether it was his own illusion, Suo Luo decided to follow the guidance in front of him. Anyway, let's get out of here now. Suo Luo turned to Robin and said. The latter naturally readily agreed. In any case, once a capable person falls into the sea, he will be powerless. So Robin crossed his hands and activated his fruit ability to assist Suo Luo to fill the sailing speed of the sailboat. Escape from this sea area. I have to say that there is the help of Robin, a flower flower fruit capable person. Sailing has become a lot easier. In a short while, Suo Luo's ship passed through this stormy area. Only, although the weather settled down, the sky was still covered by a black cloud. No sunlight. The entire sea area is even more gloomy and weird. Thriller bark. Suo Luo walked quickly to the bow position, his eyes condensed slightly, observing the state of the sea ahead. On the sea, there was a cloud of mist. Makes visibility very low. However, it was also because of the fog that Suo Luo was able to confirm it now. There is nothing wrong with his route with Robin. Indeed, he entered the territory of Lea Moonlight Mo. Three horror sailing ships. It is claimed to be the largest pirate ship in the pirate world. Controlled by Leah, 
one of the seven warlords of the sea. The front door is a huge mouth designed to catch passing ships. Once a ship enters here by mistake, the mouth will close immediately. However, the current straw hat crew should be behind me. Suo Luo thought for a moment. Although the person who defeated Crocodile in Alabasta was himself, with Luffy's character, he should still look for Sky Island. The damage going Mary deserves will still be suffered. But I made a special inspection when I was in No. 1 Doc. Going Mary did not stop there. Based on this, Suo Luo guessed that he should have gone in front of Luffy. Anyway, let's wait here for some time. Suo Luo calculated in his heart. At the same time, let the ship move on. Suo Luo. Robin came to Suo Luo's side. Although she is very knowledgeable, she doesn't know anything about the situation here. It seems that what you said about the retired Marine is true. Robin said slowly. Combined with the red light in the flowing bottle, a sudden storm formed. And this weird and eerie sea. The feeling that made her wonder if it was a trap became stronger. Um, Suo Luo nodded slightly, be careful anyway. However, as soon as Suo Luo's voice fell, a huge white ghost floated from the front. Scared Robin immediately put on alert, crossed his hands, and used his abilities to grow two slender arms on the deck, intercepting them towards the ghost. But who knows, when the arm is in contact with the white ghost. The white ghost directly penetrated Robin's attack. But, the white ghost did not attack the two of them, but drifted by slowly, moving further and further. This thing should be Perona's ability. Suo Luo reacted quickly when he saw this. Perona is a crew member of the Molia pirate ship, and is called the Three Weirds along with Hawkback and Absalom. He is also the commander of Animal Zombies and Scary Zombies. She is a goth girl with a pink ponytail and a crown on her head. At the same time, he is also the ghost man who ate the ghost fruit. What has just appeared as one of her abilities. A spirit body with self-awareness can be separated from the body, can fly in the air, penetrate walls, and change its size. Even immune to physical attacks. Its appearance also means that there is no problem with Robin's route. Them, successfully entered the three horror sailing ship. Suo Luo. Suddenly, Robin yelled and pointed his finger to the other side. Suo Luo heard the words and looked at it. The picture in front of him was the same as he imagined. At some point, his sailboat passed through the mouth of the terrifying three-way sailing ship. And, the open mouth closed suddenly. Completely cut off Suo Luo's retreat. Come in, Suo Luo whispered in his heart. Now that it is here, it is here to wait for the arrival of Straw Hat Crew. In my impression, when Luffy encountered a zombie crawling out of the ground, he pushed the opponent back. But it's a famous scene. Just wait for him there. You can meet Straw Hat Crew. It's a pity that I didn't meet Brooke that guy. Thinking of this, Suo Luo glanced at Robin beside him. Although Brooke was born as a pirate, he went to sea earlier than Roger. Plus it has been dead for decades. Naval headquarters has already revoked his bounty. Plus he is very lonely here. Suo Luo felt that Brooke was invited to join Marine at this time. He should not refuse. And, Brooke itself is not bad. The ability is also very useful when investigating intelligence. Two years later, she just passed the four emperors. Although it did not win. But if you can take it with you, maybe you can help yourself with a lot of trouble. Unfortunately, I haven't waited to meet Brooke. The ship passed the gate of the mouth. Wait a moment. Suo Luo's eyes suddenly lit up. Finding some potential pirates and persuading them to join Marine seems to be a good thing. Moreover, the pirates joining Marine is not without precedent. For example, Zhangao is a very high example. Noting Suo Luo who was in deep thought, Robin couldn't help interrupting his thoughts, what are you thinking? Not out of curiosity, but in front of them, an island suddenly appeared. Look at that, Robin took a deep breath, remaining alert. Well, anyway, since it's here, let's investigate in the past, after all, we are marine. Suo Luo paused, we will not be afraid. Seeing that Suo Luo's attitude was like this, Robin didn't say anything anymore, ready to stop the ship and land. However, at this moment, Robin suddenly felt his wrist held tightly by something. Before she could react, her other hand was also grabbed in the same way. The strange thing is that there is no one by Robin's side. Body, can't move, Robin couldn't help but exclaimed, 
and the pupils of his eyes enlarged, and the premonition that had accumulated before became more intense. Could it be that there are invisible ghosts in this sea area? Otherwise, how do you explain it? However, Suo Luo on the side was still standing on the deck, keeping calm. Although I looked at it at a glance, the field of vision was empty. Robin opened his arms as if he was playing some kind of performance art. But Suo Luo knew it very well in his heart. This is not a weird phenomenon at all, let alone a ghost. The instigator of all this is just Leah's men. Absalom. He is a capable person who has eaten transparent fruits. You can make your body transparent. At the same time, Absalom is also a pervert. Soon after the Straw Hat Pirates entered the Terror 3 strange sailboat, he sneaked on board and licked Robin's chest. However, Absalom likes weak girls. After discovering that Robin had a stronger personality, he lost interest. But no matter how you say it, Robin is now his own crew. If Absalom is left alone, then his face can be thrown directly into the sea. So, at the moment Absalom stuck out his tongue, Suo Luo directly pulled out Zanpakuto from his waist and waved his backhand. Call out. The slash shook the air, turned into a silver arc, and went straight to Absalom. And Robin suddenly regained his freedom at this time, and his steps backed up again and again. But then, the silver arc passed by in front of Robin, and it seemed to have chopped something. Pouch. Blood gushed out in the air. An arm wrapped in a sleeve also appeared and fell towards the ground. The blood flow does not stop. This sudden scene scared Robin even more. What exactly is going on? Robin couldn't help asking. Someone is on the boat. Suo Luo answered without thinking, but his eyes were firmly locked on Absalom. Although his fruit ability can make himself transparent, it has fatal flaws. That is, transparency can only hide the body. Its sound and taste cannot be hidden at all. In other words, as long as the master has the top observation hockey. You can lock Abrosum through the voice of your heart. The slash that Suo Luo slashed did not dissipate after cutting off Absalom's arm, but continued forward and fell into the sea. The entire sea surface is directly divided into two, and the seawater on both sides is poured in, forming a rushing waterfall. This marine, what's the matter? Absalom was stunned. He never dreamed that an ordinary marine would have such terrifying sword skills as a grandmaster. Rao is a swordsman and zombie created by Molia. It is also difficult to achieve this level. The scariest thing is that this marine seems to able to determine your position. For a time, Abrosum not only became short of breath, but also couldn't help but speed up his heartbeat. Although he didn't know the identity of Suo Luo, he did. This time, he got into trouble. This man is definitely not an enemy he can deal with. I have to tell this to Leah. The three horrible sailboats, there are unexpected guests. Absalom gritted his teeth and thought to himself, while staring at Suo Luo firmly. He just didn't pay attention and lost an arm. If you turn your back to Suo Luo now, you may not be sure how big the problem will be. Based on this, Absalom did not dare to let Suo Luo leave his sight after killing him. As for the arm that was chopped off, he has nothing to miss. With Hakubik's technique, things like arms can be repaired at any time. As for fighting Suo Luo, Absalom can't even think about it. However, Suo Luo raised his hand again and slowly lowered the blade of the katana. Another silver arc flashed forward. It's like a crescent moon. The speed is even stranger. Although Abrosum clearly saw Suo Luo making a move, his body was too late to dodge, let alone defend. Call out. Accompanied by the sound of cutting through the air, this slash passed directly through Absalom's body. Pouch. A lot of blood spurted from him, spilled into the sky, like a gorgeous blood-colored butterfly, and fell to the deck. And Absalom's appearance was slowly outlined by the blood-colored butterfly. An obvious crack turned his body into two parts, sliding in different directions. Thump, thump. With two silences, Abrosum's body fell on the deck one after another. His eyes were as big as bull's eyes, and the lion's mouth was wide open. He really couldn't understand why the marine in front of him had such terrifying strength. Not only can you find your place. Swordsmanship is so powerful. In the end he, where is it sacred? The most important thing is his purpose here. It was lured in by Luzun. Still, naval headquarters, what are your dissatisfaction with Molia? Also, 
why is there only Suo Luo on this sailing boat, wearing a marine uniform? For a time, there were too many questions in Absalom's mind. But there is one thing, he is not only convinced, but very sure. That is Suo Luo's strength, he is the strongest person he has seen so far. If it is possible to let Molia get his shadow, and stuff it into Oz's body. Must be able to, create the strongest zombie in the world. But as this thought emerged, a powerful fatigue swept across Abrosum's brain. The picture in front of him also became blurred. In less than half a minute, his vision became pitch black. The breathing was so weak that it disappeared completely. Absalom, pawn, dead, dead. Robin on the side couldn't help rolling his throat and swallowed nervously. The whole process happened so suddenly that she didn't react until now. At the same time, I once again marveled at the power of Suo Luo. I didn't find out when this guy got on the boat. Robin turned his head to look at Suo Luo, even the ability to be invisible can't escape Suo Luo's eyes. Suo Luo didn't care about Robin's gaze. He looked down at Absalom's body. I couldn't help but vomit. I didn't expect that as soon as I entered the three terror sailboat, I ran into Absalom, one of the three weirdos. What a bad start. Robin calmed down quickly and noticed Absalom's appearance. The nose, mouth, and jaw looked like a lion, but the skin looked like an elephant, and the image looked very strange. But through the stitches on Absalom's body, Robin felt that this guy should have been transformed by others, not by nature. Maybe, there will be ships missing every year in the magic triangle, and it's related to this guy. Robin put his hands around his chest and began to analyze. Absalom. Suo Luo directly said his name. In any case, Absalom is a crew member of the Three Terror Sailboat. Even if it is recognized by the world government, it enjoys the title of Seven Warlords of the Sea. In essence, it still belongs to the pirate. He also has the identity of Marine, and it is not surprising to know the identity of this guy. Seeing Suo Luo uttering the other's name so easily, Robin was slightly surprised, do you know him? Well, I saw his bounty before. Suo Luo replied casually, it's Leah's crew. Moonlight Molia, is it Shichibukai again? Robin was startled, but he didn't expect to hear Shichibukai's name suddenly. The reason why Suo Luo chose to kill directly is because he does not want to conflict with Molia. Although these guys are essentially pirates, they are related to the face of the world government. Suo Luo, who is a traverser, vaguely remembers. In order to prevent Molia from being defeated by Luffy, the world government specially sent a Storm Kun Shang to come forward. I hope to join forces with Molia to deal with Straw Hat crew. It is enough to prove that the world government values Shichibukai's undefeated matter. Not to mention, I eliminated Molia here. It will definitely cause panic in the world government and initiate an investigation. Once you find yourself here, I am afraid it will not be very troublesome. Thinking of this, Suo Luo has no motivation. Moreover, in a sense, although Molia is often complained about by Shichibukai, his existence is of great benefit to the world government. There are hundreds of ships missing in the Magic Triangle every year, most of which are pirate ships. In other words, Leah Moonlight is like a vicious dog, guarding the Magic Triangle to help the world government kill the pirate group going to sea. Suo Luo thought to himself. The most favorable proof is that, Straw Hat crew was on the night of the horror three-way sailing boat. The world government sent violent coon bears to help. It is sufficient to prove that the world government is aware of Molia's entrenchment in the magic triangle. Not only knows, but also knows well. Even the conflict between him and Straw Hat crew can be known at the first time. And let the storm coon bear rush to the scene as quickly as possible. Based on this. Is it unclear whether the ship disappeared in the magic triangle or did not care about it? The answer can be imagined. However, Molia was interested in Straw Hat crew and stuffed Luffy's shadow into Oz's body. It's mainly because he learned through the newspaper that Luffy defeated Crocodile and made an uproar at Annie's lobby. Therefore, it is determined that Luffy's growth is very high. However, because of my relationship, these events that should have happened did not happen by mistake. Luffy's bounty is still 30 million, which shouldn't attract Molia's attention. Suo Luo's brain is running fast. Link the cause and effect before and after. Without these premises, Straw Hat Crew is an ordinary pirate to Molia. In other words, I am here to destroy Straw Hat Crew. 
nor will it attract Molia's attention. Wait, since Luffy's bounty is still 30 million berry, it means that he has not attracted the attention of the world government. Bao Kun Bear, there is no reason to come here. Suo Luo suddenly realized, since violent Kun Bears will not come, it is easier to catch Straw Hat crew. Soon, after Suo Luo combed through the current situation, his sailboat also approached the shore. What do we do now? Do you want to leave here directly? Robin took a deep breath and asked Suo Luo. According to Robin's understanding of Suo Luo, with his salted fish mentality, there is a high probability that he will not care about Molia's affairs. But who knows, Suo Luo jumped up from the deck and jumped directly onto the island. Anyway, let's investigate the situation here first. Suo Luo turned back and said to Robin, Now that it has been decided to capture Straw Hat crew, give it to Sengoku. It is undoubtedly the safest way to stay here. After all, once you get to Sabayati Archipelago, the change is too big. If you have a relationship with Pluton Rayleigh, I'm afraid it will be more troublesome. Suo Luo couldn't help but complain. If it was an ordinary marine like himself, he would directly kill Rayleigh. It will only cause shock to the whole world. Based on his knowledge of Sengoku and Akainu. With such a feat, I am afraid that it will not be thrown to Marineford to participate in the war on the top. Then he was kicked to the new world to conquer the four emperors. Just thinking about it, Suo Luo finds it troublesome. Also, it is more reliable to exchange straw hat crew for tickets back to East Blue. Suo Luo took a deep breath, turned around, strode forward, and reminded Robin, let's go, don't forget that we are marine, and we should investigate the truth about the ship's disappearance. Result, on the contrary, Robin couldn't help but have a black line on his face. Can't help but complain, is this your line? Next second. Robin's brain suddenly came to light. Thinking about it carefully, although Suo Luo often says that he is easier to be contented and wants to be a salted fish, he seems to be, another attitude about Shichibukai. Yes, in Alabasta, it was Crocodile defeated by Suo Luo. This time I knew that Moonlight Molia was on this island, but he still insisted on investigating. I'm afraid not, he also wants to eliminate Crocodile and solve Molia. The more you analyze, the more you think about it. The more Robin felt that he had guessed something. Could it be said that Suo Luo has been hiding and disguising his strength in order to destroy all Shichibukai in the dark? He is dissatisfied with the system established by the world government. For a while, Robin's pupils suddenly dilated, and cold sweat broke out on his forehead and back. Combine the people's justice that Suo Luo said to Princess Vivi before. The ambition of this guy Suo Luo is to eliminate the system established by the world government and let the people be the masters. Wait a moment. In an instant, there was a flash of light in Robin's mind. She seems understand thoroughly. I understand. The reason Suo Luo invited me to join Marine is precisely because I am the only one who can interpret the text of history. For this, he did not hesitate to clash with CP9. For a hundred years of blankness, the world government has always been very jealous. It is clear, Suo Luo's goal is to subvert the world. Yes, only with such a huge ambition can he be worthy of his unmatched strength. No wonder this man has. Conqueror's hockey. The more Robin thought about it, the more sure about this idea in his heart. Otherwise, how do you explain what Suo Luo did? Noting that Robin did not follow up directly, Suo Luo turned around and shouted again, go. Hearing this, Robin put away his thoughts and quickly followed Suo Luo. And after entering the terrifying three-way sailing ship, the thick fog became more and more terrifying. In Robin's impression, it should be sunny now. In the end, there was no sunlight. Robin followed Suo Luo's footsteps and suddenly asked, if the missing ship every year is really related to Leah, what are you going to do? If it was Leah Moonlight, it would be trickier. Suo Luo thought for a moment, anyway, this guy is a member of seven warlords of the sea. Not only is the strength strong, but the identity is recognized by the world government. Even if it's me, it's not easy to attack Mo Lia. As a result, as soon as Suo Luo spoke, Robin made complaints. Didn't you defeat Crocodile at Alabasta? Ah, Suo Luo's expression was slightly stunned. He didn't expect Robin to mention Alabasta suddenly. It's actually not the same. Although Crocodile was also Shichibukai at the time, 
his crime has already been proven, and it is not a trivial matter to provoke a civil war in the country. For reason, he doesn't deserve to live in Shichibukai anymore. But Leah is different. Although a large number of ships disappear in the Magic Triangle every year, most of them are pirate ships. For the world government, the disappearance of the pirate ship is not a bad thing. In fact, Robin was able to live until now, not by luck. Regardless of her mind or her strength, she was pretty good in the first half of the Grand Line. How can Suo Luo not understand these truths? The reason for provoking this topic is to see Suo Luo's attitude. In order to verify your guess, even Robin suspects that the world government may have known the truth a long time ago. But, with the deepening of Suo Luo and Robin, their actions quickly attracted the attention of the creatures on the island. In a short while, a three-headed wolf with a fierce face blocked their way. Do not, to be precise, it should be a two-headed wolf and a fox. They were forcibly stitched together. At this time, he was grinning and staring at Suo Luo and Robin. As if the two of them moved around, they would rush to bite through their throats. This is, the guard dog that Nami and the others met after they came to the island. Suo Luo thought to himself. In my impression, Straw Hat crew went to the island twice. The first batch is a three-squad team composed of Nami, Usopp, and Chopper. I ran into this guy as soon as I got on the island and was very embarrassed to be chased. When Luffy came to the island, the suture monster was killed in seconds. In other words, the reason why it appears here now is enough to prove that Straw Hat crew has not reached the magic triangle. But no matter what, Suo Luo didn't want to waste time with such low-level monsters. Call out. Suo Luo's body instantly left an afterimage. The body flashed directly above the stitch monster. It was so fast that even Robin didn't react. When she found out that Suo Luo left her side, the latter had already grabbed his fist with five fingers and smashed it down at the spine of the suture monster. Bang! With a muffled noise, a shock wave rolled downwards. Directly pressed the suture monster to the ground. The majestic power easily smashed its bones. The part that was hit frontally was even penetrated on the spot. The wound is getting bigger and bigger. One could not breathe, the black thread on the suture monster broke apart, and countless pieces of meat flew out to the surroundings and scattered to the ground. But, but there was a black shadow floating out of the suture monster's mouth and flew away. Suo Luo fell to the ground without any bloodline or dust on his body. The whole process is an understatement. Okay, so fast. Robin blinked vigorously, wondering if he had seen something wrong. Suo Luo's speed is almost faster than the shaved Lu Chi. She couldn't help being surprised, how much strength did Suo Luo hide? It is too strong. Even Leah is not Suo Luo's opponent. Robin couldn't help but sigh. In her opinion, as long as Suo Luo has the idea of this method, he can completely destroy the island with his powerful strength. But, Robin hasn't stayed there all the time. She quickly cleared up her emotions, and quickly stepped forward to observe the monster that was beaten to pieces by Suo Luo. The flesh color of this guy is very different, not even the same species. They were forcibly stitched together. And, she also noticed that when Suo Luo solved this guy, there was even a black shadow flying out. Let the entire magic triangle become even more weird. But, just when Robin wanted to ask Suo Luo if he knew what it was, the voice of an old man suddenly rang. See, Marine. The old man not only trembled, but his tone was full of excitement and excitement. He never dreamed that he would meet Marine here one day. And, still such a powerful Marine. With just one move, the animal zombies were wiped out. Suo Luo and Robin quickly turned around and looked at the old man. However, he found that his facial features were a bit gloomy. The skin is not even less bloody. What is even more bizarre is, there is no shadow under his feet. Almost subconsciously, Robin folded his hands together. Flowers under your feet. In the next second, one flower after another was opened under the old man's feet, wrapped around his body, and then slammed. Directly press the old man to the ground. What are you? Robin made a low voice, thinking that this guy was also a ghost or something. I, I am a human. Although Robin's behavior was a bit rough, the old man still clenched and quickly explained, the reason why I don't have a shadow is because the shadow was taken away by the owner here. Not only me, 
but also the shadows of many people have been taken away by the owner here. Also, this is not an island at all. It's a pirate ship from West Blue. Almost without any hesitation, the old man spoke out his master's information all at once. In his opinion, he can help himself. People who save themselves. Just, only the marine in front of me. As the old man's voice fell, more and more shadowless people appeared around him. They all look exactly like old people. Gloom and no blood. Marine, Marine is here. The thin old man walked up to Suo Luo, his tone of voice was excited, his hands trembled, he never thought that he would be able to see Marine in such a place. And this exclamation is more like a signal. Make more and more people emerge from the fog. Then, the thin old man led by a plop fell to his knees in front of Suo Luo and burst into tears, Master Marine, please help us. As soon as this statement came out, other people followed the thin old man's actions one after another, kneeling one by one in front of Suo Luo, washing their faces with tears. Begging Suo Luo to save them. This sudden scene naturally made Suo Luo unexpected. On the contrary, Robin observed the feet of these people for the first time. I was surprised to find that none of these people had shadows under their feet. What exactly is going on? Who are you guys? Why is there no shadow? Upon seeing this, Robin simply asked his doubts. In addition to this problem, she is also very curious about what is going on on this island. As a result, the thin old man told what he knew exactly. These people are not pirates, but ordinary civilians. Usually do some maritime transportation work. As a result, he was lured here until today. While talking, the old man kept crying. The owner here is Leah, one of the seven warlords of the sea. Sure enough, Suo Luo's eyes narrowed slightly, and he thought to himself. In any case, the plot of, One Piece, is too long, and it is impossible for him to remember every detail. For Luzun, he only analyzed and judged. Hearing what the old man said, he was able to confirm. The flow bottle is the key to entering the magic triangle. Once the shadow is taken away by Molia, the body cannot be exposed to sunlight, otherwise, it will be burned to ashes by the strong sunlight. Just then another man interrupted, once the body dies, our shadows will disappear. In order to prevent our shadows from disappearing, the guy Molia is unwilling to fulfill us even with death. We can only live in this mist day and night. People are not like people, and ghosts are not like ghosts. It is precisely because this kind of life is really too painful, so I found out that Suo Luo was wearing a marine uniform. These talents will make him ask for help. On the one hand, Suo Luo has the identity of marine. On the other hand, he just killed the animal zombies with just one punch. It is enough to prove that he is strong. After explaining the ins and outs, the thin old man knocked his forehead heavily on the ground. Please, Master Marine, help us get back the shadows. Others even echoed, pinning this hope on Suo Luo. Robin, who was standing next to Suo Luo, frowned and turned to look at Suo Luo's profile. What Suo Luo once said to Princess Vivi came to mind. The so-called justice, it is to ensure the lives and health of the people. Let the people live and work in peace and contentment. Let the people be old-fashioned. Let the people live with dignity. But now, the civilians who appeared in front of them had nothing. The most terrifying thing is. Moonlight Molia's identity. Seven warlords of the sea. It is a pirate recognized by the world government. This also means that as long as Molia does not abandon Shichibukai's identity. As long as the world government does not ban the seven warlords of the sea system. Whether it is naval headquarters, which symbolizes justice on the sea. Eni's lobby is a symbol of justice. Never. Questions about Molia. Unless Molia will be defeated by the pirates, otherwise, these people can only live in such a ghost place for a lifetime. Just thinking about that kind of future, Robin felt that these people were pitiful. But then again, seven warlords of the sea. Marine three admiral. New world four emperors. But it is known as the three major forces on the Grand Line. Especially in the first half of the Grand Line. The pirate who can defeat Molia. Does it really exist? Suo Luo. What are you going to do? Robin stared slightly, watching Suo Luo's profile. It's troublesome. Suo Luo sighed helplessly. 
The reason why he entered the magic triangle and did not choose to bypass it was that he planned to capture Straw Hat Crew and hand it to Sengoku in exchange for the opportunity to return to East Blue. Unexpectedly, I met these people. Think about what happened to them. Poor is also quite pitiful. Most importantly, they. None of them are pirates. It's an honest civilian. In any case, the flow bottles that Molia threw out did not have the ability to distinguish whether the person who opened it was a pirate or a civilian. Can only be tempted to come over. Moreover, the strength of the zombies mainly depends on the strength of the corpse. The role of the shadow is to give these zombie warriors kinetic energy. After all, there is no shadow, and even the most powerful zombies can't act. Based on this setting, even if it is a civilian with little combat effectiveness, his shadow is not useless to Molia. I see. After thinking about it carefully, Suo Luo finally loosened his tone. But I couldn't help but complain. Molia this guy. Obviously he is also a strong one. Go to New World and make a comeback. Go release your ambitions. It was just hammered once by Kaido. Just lose all the energy. No wonder it will be called the shame of Shichibukai. I will find a way to get your shadows back. Suo Luo spoke slowly and assured the old people who were kneeling on the ground. In his opinion, the fighting among these civilians is almost zero. Shadows are not very valuable either. Discuss with Molia and ask him to return the shadows of these civilians. From then on, the road headed towards the sky, each walking aside. Capture the straw hat crew yourself and go to Marineford for business. He continued to be a tortoise in the magic triangle. The best of both worlds. But, after Suo Luo said these words loudly, everyone present had tears in their eyes. For them, any promise today is great news. What's more, it is still a very powerful marine. The thin old man knocked his head three times at Suo Luo before raising his gaze. It's just that he quickly seemed to have thought of something. Quickly looked around. Who knows, in my line of sight, I only saw Suo Luo, wearing a marine uniform. Do not, except for Suo Luo and Robin. He did not see the second human with a shadow. Wait a minute, where are the other marines? The thin old man couldn't help asking. In my impression, isn't marine based on troops? Marine, only the two of us. Suo Luo answered without thinking. However, for Molia, it's almost enough for the two of us. Robin on the side heard this. If you don't meet these people, forget it. But I just let myself meet here. It's better to discuss with Molia a little bit. In any case, people are not plants. How can it roll when round and stop when square? Wait, wait a minute. On the contrary, when the thin old man heard Suo Luo's words, he couldn't help but startle, his eyes were bigger than the suture monster just now. He never thought of entering Marine in the magic triangle. There are only Suo Luo and Robin. Moreover, the two of them are going to find Molia to get back the shadow. Just kidding, even Suo Luo has the ability to kill animal zombies with a punch. It could not be Molia's opponent. He is not only one of seven warlords of the sea. I don't know how many years I have been in the magic triangle. He can easily control every zombie on this island. I thought that Suo Luo had a marine unit that could deal with Molia. Unexpectedly, there were only two people. This act of rashly looking for Molia is undoubtedly hitting a rock with a pebble. Even at this moment, the thin old man who asked Suo Luo for help could not help but step forward quickly and stop Suo Luo. Molia is not an enemy you two can defeat. While the shadow has not been taken away by Molia, get out of here. The thin old man said without thinking. And hope that Suo Luo can inform Marine about the matter here. Let them send someone to deal with Molia. But who knows, in the face of the thin old man's kind words to persuade him. Suo Luo just shook his head. Naval headquarters will not attack Molia. Anyway, leave this to me. But just as Suo Luo was about to turn around and enter the castle, looking for Molia. There was a sudden crash not far away. Bang. The sound is not small, and very powerful. Immediately afterwards, three figures fell from the sky. Bang. 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 This sudden scene instantly attracted everyone's attention. These guys are. Suo Luo's eyes narrowed even more, looking up and down at the figure that suddenly fell. A woman with short orange hair. A doll that looks like a civet cat. A man with a long nose. It can't be wrong. 
At a glance, Suo Luo recognized the identities of these three people. It's just a member of the Straw Hat Pirates. Navigator, Nami, Ship Doctor, Chopper, and Lowly Nemesis, Usopp. At the same time, the appearance of a few of them also means that Straw Hat crew opened the bottle at sea and was lured into the three horror sailing ship. Everything was within Suo Luo's expectation. But, although Nami and others fell from the sky and hit the ground heavily, they did not pass out on the spot. In fact, Nami and Chopper happened to fall on Usopp. See, Marine. Soon, Nami, who was timid by nature, immediately looked around and saw Suo Luo in Marine uniform at a glance. Hi, hi, Marine. You ran into Marine here. Chopper also abruptly stood up from the ground. It was the first time he saw Marine since he became a pirate. For a while, I couldn't help but become nervous. What are you talking about, Marine? Usopp, who was slightly injured, also reacted immediately. A carp got up from the ground and turned around to escape. But in his line of sight, there is no Marine. On the contrary, there were a few shadowless guys standing. An unprecedented horror emerged spontaneously. So scared Usopp stopped right there. Wait, there seems to be only one Marine here. On the contrary, it was Nami, who noticed with anxiety that there was only one Marine, Suo Luo. Most of those who have no shadows are civilians. They backed away one after another, and didn't want to intervene in this matter. Since I met you here, I can't let it go. Suo Luo took a deep breath and directly blocked the way of Nami and others. The navigator of the Straw Hat Pirates, the little thief Cat Nami, is offering a bounty of 3 million berry. But because of Suo Luo's relationship. As a result, the Straw Hat Pirates did not experience the Alabasta and Eni's lobby incidents. For Chopper and Usopp, Naval Headquarters has not yet issued a bounty. Don't be afraid of Nami, I, I will protect you. However, at this moment, Chopper, who was the size of a puppet, suddenly started to move. Da da da, he blocked Nami behind him and put his hands together. Immediately afterwards, Chopper's body expanded at a speed visible to the naked eye. From a weak puppet, it has transformed into a very tall and burly creature. The body shape is much stronger than Usopp. Although Chopper was a bit scared and perturbed in his heart, he still stood in front of Nami resolutely. I want to protect my companions. Chopper, facing this sudden scene, Rao Nami was also slightly stunned. But she reacted quickly. When I acted with Chopper and Usopp, I didn't see the marine warship. Just met a weird ghost ship. Although she is not sure why Suo Luo, marine, is here, she can judge from the current situation. Here, he is probably only one marine. Thinking of this, Nami couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth. Even if you count the woman next to him, there are only two people. And behind them, there is the entire Straw Hat Pirate group. Chopper, don't be impulsive. We just have to wait for Luffy and the others to come over. Nami whispered in Chopper's ear. In her opinion, the three of them have no need to defeat Suo Luo. Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, all are strong like monsters. Either one of them is enough to easily solve the marine in front of you. Although I don't know how you found us, but you seem to be only one person. Even Nami couldn't help but provoke Suo Luo. To deal with you few, I am totally enough. Suo Luo couldn't help but smile upon hearing this. This Nami is really, I'm going to die when I'm counseling. It's too arrogant when it's arrogant. While talking, Suo Luo stepped forward and approached Nami. Do not come. Suddenly, Chopper lowered his head and yelled. Warn Suo Luo. At the same time, Chopper warned himself in his heart. It was Luffy and the others who saved Drum Island. Let the soccer a flower bloom again. It was them who didn't regard themselves as monsters, as partners. And bring yourself out to sea. So anyway, you must protect Nami. Protect everyone. No matter who it is, I won't let him hurt Miss Nami. So, if you go one step further, then I... I can only beat you here. Chopper made a loud noise, like a real man. Rao was Nami and was also stunned on the spot. The Chopper who usually looks very timid. It is so reliable at the critical moment. However, facing Chopper's warning, Suo Luo just chuckled and disappeared in the same place in an instant. In an instant, Suo Luo disappeared from the same place, leaving only an afterimage. Next second, Suo Luo appeared directly in front of Chopper. 
Facing his warning, Suo Luo chose to ignore it. The speed was so fast that Chopper's face suddenly became pale, his pupils dilated, and cold sweat was flowing. The marine in front of him is stronger than he thought. In fact, it's not just Chopper. Rao was Nami and Usopp, who were also dumbfounded at this time. This marine, is it so strong? Nami couldn't help exclaiming in her heart, in her impression. Even Luffy, Zoro, Sanji can hardly achieve this speed. Usopp even felt weak in his legs, and he regretted taking the lead in the expedition. I should have walked with Luffy and the others. But, facing such a powerful Suo Luo, Chopper has firmed up his conviction at this moment. In any case, he must be here to protect Nami. Protect your companions. I saw Chopper gritted his teeth, his eyes serious. Wrist strength, strengthen. With a burst of shout, Chopper decisively used the fruit power to concentrate his power on his arms. I saw the muscles on both arms beating frantically, swelling and hardening. Obtained extremely strong power. Immediately afterwards, Chopper blasted Suo Luo's chest unceremoniously. Want to blow him out with a palm. Huvu. This palm was not only violent, but also at such a speed that it stirred the air on both sides and turned into a cold wind, which was approaching Suo Luo. However, facing Chopper's offensive, Suo Luo did not evade. Let Chopper slap himself with a palm. Boom. The two collided strongly and burst into a loud noise. A terrifying air current broke out on the spot, sweeping in all directions. Nami, Usopp, the corners of their clothes swayed, and their footsteps followed by two steps back. After two or three breaths passed, Nami felt the shock subsided and was able to open his eyes. Hit, hit, Nami exclaimed, saw Chopper's palm pressing on Suo Luo's chest hit the opponent directly. The key is, although Chopper is usually a harmless, weak puppet image of humans and animals, but after using the fruit power. His power is not trivial. And it's still such a close attack. Rao is this marine, and it should be unbearable. Hey, dare to underestimate us, now you know we are amazing. When Usopp saw this, he was even more proud. But who knows? It was clearly that Chopper hit Suo Luo, but he stepped back one after another, his eyes turning frantically. The unprecedented move came from the arm. He could even feel that a chill was radiating from Suo Luo. Let his back chill. At the same time, there was a terrible sense of oppression that was overwhelming. Make Chopper's heart tremble constantly. Ah! In the next second, Chopper exploded with a scalp-numbing scream. He attacked Suo Luo's arm, as if hitting the steel with a palm, the majestic force turned back and directly broke his bones. The enemy in front of me. More powerful than they thought. Chopper. The calmness that finally appeared on the faces of Nami and Usopp disappeared without a trace. They stepped forward quickly, but saw Chopper's arms droop naturally. Broken. Suo Luo, who was hit head-on, was safe and sound. Instead, Chopper had a broken arm. What kind of monster is this guy in front of me? Cheat, deceive, right. Usopp rolled his throat and swallowed nervously. After transforming, Chopper is much stronger than himself. If he hadn't witnessed it with his own eyes, he would never believe it. Even, after realizing the power of Suo Luo, their perception of Suo Luo has also completely changed. This marine, perhaps because of his strong strength and enough self-confidence, chose to pursue us alone. Nami suddenly felt a desperate sense of pressure sweeping over her, making her nerves tense at this moment. His strength is even stronger than Smoker. Nami took a breath, just standing here. She just feels uncomfortable, very scary. The Marine in front of him is more like a monster. The strength far exceeds the Smoker encountered in Logue Town. Nami, leave it to me and Chopper, run away. Suddenly, Usopp gritted his teeth and spoke to Nami, tell Luffy they, there is Marine here. Although he usually acts like a coward. But I cherish the bond with everyone very much. At this moment, he is determined to intercept the monster Suo Luo here with Chopper. So that Nami can pass important information to Luffy and the others. Let them never come near here. Otherwise, it is very likely that Marine will ambush. Usopp yelled without thinking about it. In his opinion, encountering Marine in such a place is probably not a coincidence. Perhaps the glowing bottle is the trap that Marine ambushes. Usopp, you. Nami opened his mouth and looked at Usopp's firm back. His eyes were full of worries about Usopp and Chopper. 
but at the moment, she didn't think Usopp's words were nonsense. Now relative to their safety, it is undoubtedly more important to inform Luffy of important information. But at this time, Robin, who was standing not far away watching the game, had a touch of expression on his face. Although Suo Luo didn't make a move just now, he showed his power in the most intuitive way. No one can see that the combat effectiveness between the two sides is not on the same level at all. Not to mention the experience of Chopper. But, even in the face of such a powerful enemy, these people did not intend to abandon their companions in the slightest. Instead, he faced it resolutely, even at the expense of himself, to create opportunities for his companions to escape. For a while, Robin couldn't help feeling a little envious. You can rest assured. However, Suo Luo is not in a hurry to do it. He wants more than Nami, Chopper, and Usopp. But the entire Straw Hat Pirate group. When all of them are assembled, it will not be too late to make a move by themselves. But, seeing the fetters of these people, Unity, Suo Luo couldn't help being touched. Although I have traveled to this world for more than nine years, I have been rewarded one after another. Strength becomes stronger and stronger. But there are few companions. You can rest assured that there are only two marines, me and Robin, in the entire magic triangle. There will be no traps or encirclement. Your worries are completely unnecessary. Upon hearing this, Chopper and Usopp looked at each other. Lie, this is definitely a lie. We don't believe your nonsense. The two spoke in unison, retorting Suo Luo. Holy shit, a lie. Do you think that with my strength, it is necessary to do something extra? Suo Luo said with a smile. Suo Luo's remarks were like a shocking drink. Chopper's expression froze suddenly. Think about it carefully. Suo Luo really has no need to lie. Because of his strength, he has far exceeded his own cognition. A full blow not only failed to cause damage to Suo Luo. Not even the most basic scratches were left. Instead, his arm was broken on the spot. This kind of incredible, unbelievable thing. Luffy, Zoro, Sanji. Can they really do it? Thinking of this, a trace of panic appeared in Chopper's eyes. At this time, he was more hopeful, Suo Luo was telling lies. No need to encircle and trap. No need for Marine's support. He alone is enough to deal with the entire Straw Hat Pirates. How strong is his strength to have such confidence? Fear, whether it's Chopper, Nami, or Usopp, the ideas at this time are the same. The Marine in front of you definitely possesses terrifying power. The atmosphere on the scene became more and more weird. Chopper took a deep breath, his momentum changed instantly. Nami, go find Luffy. The antlers are strengthened. I saw Chopper's body change again, and the antlers on his forehead swelled and hardened, growing out of his body. The expression in his eyes became even sharper. Next second. Chopper kicked hard with both feet. He rushed to Suo Luo's body and hit with the antlers. In front of this pair of antlers, Suo Luo's body appears small. The momentum is good. Before others arrive, let's play with you. Suo Luo raised the corner of his mouth and pulled out the katana. The sharp blade exudes a cold light. Next second. Suo Luo waved backhand. Sword Chi spreads forward like ripples. Resist Chopper's huge antlers on the spot. It was like an invisible wall of air, making Chopper's body unable to move forward any further. Pouch. Immediately afterwards, the ripple fell on Chopper, peeling off his hair, skin, and muscles. The blood spurted immediately, swaying into the sky, like a blood-colored butterfly. The strong smell of blood drifted into Chopper's nose. Then came unprecedented pain, which forced him to grind his teeth. But even so, Chopper still underestimated Suo Luo's slash. If he could not breathe two or three times, his body reached the limit that he could bear, and his steps backed up until he lost his balance and fell to the ground with a plop. Although he hadn't passed out on the spot, he couldn't stand up for a while. Must kill Smoke Star. When Usopp saw this, he decisively chose to shoot, took out a huge slingshot, and fired smoke bombs at Suo Luo. In an attempt to confuse Suo Luo's sight, he took Chopper and escaped. The enemy in front of them is simply not something they can win. Must, meet Luffy and others as soon as possible. However, Usopp's smoke star went directly through Suo Luo's body. Looking intently, there was another afterimage shockingly. His speed is faster than Usopp's shooting out of smoke stars. 
People, people are gone. Fear arises spontaneously in Usopp. In the next second, Suo Luo's voice sounded directly from behind him. I'm here. Before Usopp could turn around, Suo Luo aimed a hand knife at his neck. Bang! The majestic force, like a hammer, went straight to Usopp and blasted him to the ground on the spot. Rumble! The whole earth greeted violent shaking and trembling. The smoke rolled around. The ground under Usopp was shattered in layers, leaving a spider web like crack. And he was lying motionless in the center of the cobweb. Kill on the spot, Usopp. Chopper. Upon seeing this, Nami looked at his partner with a worried expression. Both were seriously injured. I, I'm fine. Chopper clenched his teeth and shook his head vigorously, breathing together with his mouth and nose to increase the intake of air. To keep yourself awake, he did not hesitate to squeeze his wound with his fingers. In exchange for a sharp pain in exchange for sobriety. Fortunately, although Suo Luo's sword came fiercely, it only cut the muscles. It didn't hurt the internal organs. It did not cause major bleeding. Although unbelievable, Chopper feels. This Marine is obviously merciful. He didn't want to take his life. I just want to lose my mobility. Do you want to catch it alive? Chopper wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and stood up from the ground with his body supported. The blue wave ball has been squeezed in his hand. Usopp, was killed in a second. Nami on the side holds his head with both hands. Now she can't confirm whether Usopp is alive or dead. The marine in front of me. It's too scary. The strength it possesses far exceeds that of Smoker. If he wants to, he can kill all three of them here. Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, you guys, come here soon. Nami couldn't help but pray in his heart. Pray for your companions to show up quickly. Deal with this marine together. Only in this way. Maybe there is still a glimmer of hope. Suo Luo glanced at Usopp who had fainted, then turned to look at Nami, well, who is next? Although Suo Luo's words did not contain any killing intent. But to Nami and others, it sounds like a death declaration. Especially Chopper. He rolled his throat and swallowed nervously with blood-filled saliva. Staring at Usopp. Less than a round. Usopp was solved. The power gap between the two sides. It's just a big difference. Do not. Chopper threw the blue wave ball into his mouth. His mentality still retains a trace of faith. Nami is his companion. In any case, I can't just watch my companion get hurt. I won't run away here. I want to fight on. No matter how strong the opponent this time is. I want to fight, too. At least. Also hold on, Luffy and the others come here. Chopper suddenly screamed and kicked his toes again. Choose to attack Suo Luo. There was no hesitation in his eyes. Not even the slightest flinching. At this moment, Chopper has always looked like a mascot. It seems to be a real man. Nami, run away. However, Chopper reminded Nami. Let her escape quickly. Although I had made up my mind, I was really not sure. Able to beat the opponent. Wrist strength strengthening. I saw Chopper's arm swell again. Raising his fist, he slammed Suo Luo down. This punch carries his courage and determination. And faith. The power is good. Suo Luo saw this, just a sidestep, and easily avoided. Boom. Chopper's raised fist brushed past Suo Luo, and directly hit the ground with a loud noise, and countless flying rocks rolled out on the spot. As Suo Luo said, this punch is full of power. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.